mean, surely this is something that they've done time and time again in training and, and in previous games. The players take a knee before the first whistle of the match. No room for racism in Premier League football or anywhere else. Immediately, Bruno Fernandes turns it back to Anana. Outside his penalty area, kicks long downfield. Headed away there for Liverpool by Zobers Light. Out it comes to Liverpool's left-hand side. Collected by Alejandro Garnacho. Liverpool win it back with McAllister. Right-footed ball to the left to Luis Diaz. 15 yards from the edge of the penalty area. His passing field is cut out by Bruno Fernandes. And a sloppy ball to Conor Bradley. Making progress down the right-hand side. Finds Mo Salah. Salah looking for options. Tucks it back to Endo. And Virgil van Dijk gets a first touch after receiving it from Jarrell Kwanzaa. Back with Endo and back out to Salah. Forward ball towards Zobers Light, who hits the deck under a challenge. Play answers the referee. And they're battling for everything over in that corner as Zobers Light involved with Aaron Wambasaka. Liverpool managed to win back possession on halfway, but United have it back. Bruno Fernandes, 4 ball for Garnacho. Garnacho in on goal. He's round the goalkeeper. He scores for United, but I think the flag's going to go up. And it has. He looked offside with the naked eye, and of course this will go to VR. But he, lo he, 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 looked, he looked a couple of yards offside, but nevertheless... Uh, and if you, if you play in that way, and OK, it looks like a bit of drama, if you play in that way and somebody runs in behind and scores and scores a goal, the offside tactic has worked. Yeah. That's not a concern, it's how Liverpool lost the ball that is. Yeah, well, they got, they got stuck on that right-hand side, didn't they? And they played a couple of sloppy passes and United picked it up and were 3v3. Garnacho went far too early, but he was clearly offside. It was a good two or three yards offside. There's another sloppy one. From another Garnacho. poor ball from Jurel Kwanzaa. United with Bruno Fernandes inside the penalty area. Good challenge. And it's uh, gone behind for a goal kick. Well, he done well in the end, Kwanzaa, didn't Gerard he? Gerald Kwanzaa stood up to the task. Yeah. Fernandes looked to have got past him, but... It was a sloppy ball from him, though. Two little dodgy moments he's had. In the early stages, Liverpool guilty of conceding possession. Needlessly forward it comes to Nunez. Knocks it down into the path of Mo Salah. Salah's forward ball towards Zobers Live with a chance! Oh, what a good save from the United goalkeeper, Andre Anana. At full stretch, but Liverpool have it left edge of the penalty with Salah. In comes the ball. It's cleared downfield. Then helped off its way by Marcus Radford. What an incredible start to the game here. Liverpool very close. Zobers Live with a clear opportunity. That's it. Didn't manage to finish the chance. Here's Robertson down the left-hand side. Gets a cross in towards the middle. It's hacked away by Maguire. Taken down with impudence and supreme skill by Alexis McAllister. His forward ball takes a deflection. It's out for a Liverpool throw and Andy Robertson to take. Well, that's the way the game's going to go, end-to-end. -end. Loads of space for everyone. Zabozlai there made a really good run. It was a, a decent effort at goal and Anana just stuck a, a hand up. And he was fortunate that he got it with his left hand and it didn't fall to a Liverpool player who was running in. Tried to lift it past him, Zabozlai put it in the far corner. Just too close. Liverpool throw in left-hand side, but they can see possession again, but they managed to win it back. With the challenge by Wataro Endo on Bruno Fernandes, not to the liking of the referee. Free kick to Manchester United, 15 yards short of the halfway line to the right of centre. Turn it back to Camwala. Harry Maguire in possession. Across to Willie Camwala. It's going to go back to Maguire. Liverpool closing down. Maguire long downfield. Headed away by Robertson. Luis Diaz gets possession for Liverpool. Races across the pitch and works a 1 2 with Zobers Life. But United win it back with Casemiro. It's a late challenge there. A play on to the referee. I think he's going to have a word with Ataro Endo. Casemiro goes back to Maguire. Out to the left-hand side for United. And Aaron Wambasak. Driving forward, United. Still in possession. Casemiro picks out Diogo Dallo. Alejandro Garnacho racing in towards the edge of the penalty area. Forward ball towards Kobe Maynard. Cleared on the turn by Robertson. 
United back out to Dallow. Low cross in towards Kobe Maynard. Liverpool do well to win it back. Luis Diaz was waiting. And United with Cambala with, but their clearance is cleared for Liverpool downfield towards Darwin Nunes, racing it towards the edge of the penalty area. Slipped at the vital moment. Darwin Nunes and United win back possession. It's helter skelter football. Well, it is, isn't it? It's end to end. Every time Liverpool win it and break forward, they look like they're going to open Manchester United up. And United look like they're at it, which we thought they would be, Mike. Five minutes gone, it's nil-nil, but it could have been one apiece. United in possession with Wan-Bissaka. Marcus Rashford goes back to Aaron Wan-Bissaka. He brings in Harry Maguire to the footballing conversation. Maguire in no particular rush before he floats the ball out to Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Salah gives chase, did a really good job of holding him up. At Liverpool momentarily won back possession, but not for long, and then United have it down the left-hand side with Fernandez. Marcus Rashford, Fernandez again being challenged by Zobas Lai. Might break there for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Casemiro touches it out to the left-hand side. Fernandez, right-footed ball there for Rashford. Back here for Casemiro, Fernandez. Arcs it out to the right-hand side for Garnacho. Controls it on his chest, slips, maintains possession. A low ball in towards the near post to Van Dijk. He clears at the cost of a corner. Alejandro Garnacho always dangerous in possession because he has really quick feet and he's just quick as lightning anyway. Yeah, I mean, Andy Robertson there made a mistake. He was he was going to initially close him down and then turn changed his mind, he took a it? touch. And as he took a touch, he slipped Garnacho. I think that's a, is that a booking. Yellow card Bradley. there for Connor Bradley. I think that's for the early, earlier challenge in the middle of the pitch. Corner for Manchester United. Challenge on Marcus Rashford, I think. Fernandez with the corner on the right hand side, in towards the near post. Dealt with by Andy Robertson. That was a poor corner, wasn't it? Poor corner, but taking no chances, Robertson. No. Put it back behind for another corner to United. Seven minutes gone, no goals at Old Trafford. Plenty of action, plenty of excitement in the early stages. A yellow card for Conor Bradley this early on in proceedings is not particularly encouraging for him, but he can cope with that. Fernandez with the cross. Good header away there by Alexis McAllister. United regain possession and then Juan Basaka goes back to Diogo Dallo. Diogo Dallo is going to come out to Andre Anano, who's in the right back position. Four ball to Arnaccio, but headed back to the goalkeeper. Great defensive work from Liverpool. And Liverpool try and build with Bradley and then Zobas lie right hand side. Just inside the United half. It's a really, really poor ball. And United win it back with Casemiro and Rashford and then Bruno Fernandes on towards Rasmus Hoyland. Bonaccio right hand side down towards the dead ball line, gets a cross in. Robertson goes with him. Virgil van Dijk is having very, very strong words, I think, with Dominic Zobaslai. Well, it was a really Too poor slow. ball. Yeah, Liverpool have been really poor with the ball especially in their midfield areas, they've given it away too easy and let United come onto them. It was just very sloppy of Zobbers mm. like, wasn't it? Yeah, not Co like him. Corner on the right-hand side that Bruno Fernandes is going to take. Plenty of red shirts in the box and the green and white quartered ones as well. And it comes from Fernandes. Good header there from Liverpool from Darwin Nunez. Takes it out of harm's way, but lifted by Aaron Wan-Bissaka for Rashford out towards the left-hand side. And Rashford is hauled down there by Conor Bradley. Uh, Conor Bradley got a yellow card for fouling Marcus Rashford. Uh, you could say the, the tackle wasn't the same, but the end result was. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, I don't think you can give yellow cards for that, Mike. He'd be sending off six or seven players, wouldn't you? Yeah. But Conor Bradley started the game well as well. You know, you can see there, Liverpool have got the ball, he's just drifted. He into wants possession, doesn't area. He? He's very, very high up the pitch. The ball's with Kuvin Kelleher out towards the right-hand side. Otaro uh, Endo is uh, stopped in his tracks by Casemiro. And the ball cannons out as Endo played it forward, came off Casemiro. Liverpool throw in right-hand side, 10 yards short of halfway. Connor Bradley looking for options. 
gets a runner in front of him in Alexis McAllister. And then the clearance is right against McAllister and Darwin Nunez down towards the bar line, pulls it back, might break here for Salah, shoots, took a deflection, it's gone for a corner. I mean, that was really good pressing from Liverpool uh, and winning the ball back in areas inside the opposition half. And that's been a key to much of their success when they can do that. Yeah, it was great closing down by McAllister, ball rebounded for Darwin Nunez. He may well have been offside when it rebounded, but no flag. And his cross found Mo Salah, who shot just ricocheted. I think it was Wan-Bissaka came off. Corner left-hand side, Stratford end. Andy Robertson to take. Right arm aloft is the signal to his teammates. In it comes. Headed away. Salah edge of the penalty area on his left foot. Back for Zobis Lyle. Missed by only a matter of inches. Just over the top from Dominic Zobis Lyle. That was a really nice ball played into him tidily by Salah. And because it was played quickly, there was a lot of pace on the right footed shot from Zobis Lyle. It wasn't too far off target. 11 minutes gone. Manchester United nil, Liverpool nil. No, it wasn't. It was a great effort from him. Lovely little ball to him, wasn't it, from Mo? Let him hit it first time. Just a foot over the bar. Liverpool driving forward with Endo out towards the left-hand side for Diaz. Diaz rolls it back to McAllister. Ten yards from the edge of the penalty area, just to the left of centre. Back for Diaz. Diaz gets a run short from Dominic Sobers live, but he changes his selection plans and finds Connor Bradley back in for Quanta then Van Dijk forward to Diaz in the central position tucks it back to McAllister McAllister looking for options finds one in Robertson Robertson on the left hand side push back inside for Wataro Endo Endo has got Quanta and now Connor Bradley ready to receive the ball from Quanta's pass outside him is Mo Salah after Connor Bradley had received it from Quanta Quanta and Connor Bradley exchanging possession again, dropping deep to collect is Mo Salah, challenged there by Aaron Wambasaka. Salah looked down at Wambasaka as he played his pass back, and then Liverpool's Egyptian king lifts Wambasaka up from the deck. Liverpool in possession, but midway inside their own half, nil-nil at Old Trafford. 12 minutes 20 seconds gone on the clock. United have had a goal disallowed, it was offside and you could see with the naked eye, let alone VAR, but Liverpool early on were giving away possessions much too sloppily, much too easily, but the Reds, or the green and whites today, have warmed to their task and they're in possession again with Zobers like full ball towards Nunez, Nunez trying to play it towards Diaz, but the pass was inter intercepted, it's gone behind for a corner. He just played it too early, Nunez. I don't think he needed to play it that early. He could have just checked back and played a square ball to Diaz. Wasted opportunity. But Liverpool again breaking really quick. 2v1 there. Darlow it was who got himself in the right position just to make the interception. Yeah, a bit unfortunate for Liverpool. But they have a corner. The right-hand side. Taken quickly. It's short and Salah receives it. McAllister... In Zobas Lai, McAllister, Otaro Endo back out to Dominic Zobas Lai, the corner taker. Forward it comes towards Luis Diaz, edge of the penalty. Diaz gets it from Darwin Nunez. Diaz on his left foot, wriggles away from two challenges. Out towards the left touch line, has support now from Connor Bradley, of all people, in the left back position almost. Infield to Endo. Now McAllister takes charge of the situation and works it short to the Liverpool captain Virgil van Dijk. One touch for him and he allows Robertson to come in and take over. One, two between Robertson and Diaz. Back to van Dijk. Otaro Endo inside the centre circle, inside the United half. Short to the left to Virgil van Dijk. Right footed ball to the left touch line for Robertson. Robertson's forward chip pass is headed away by Dallow. Liverpool retrieve it with Endo and then Dominic Zobersley. Rolls it out to the right for Bradley. Zobbers lie and then Bataro end up. The ball is lifted forward. Bradley gives chase. They had a good challenge from Connor Bradley, preventing United from getting an easy, an easy clearance downfield. But it comes off Bradley behind for a goal kick to Manchester United. Nearly on the quarter hour mark. Still nil nil. That is a surprise. Yeah, it is, considering how open the game's been and some of the, the chances and half-chances that we've had. 
Liverpool just finding the rhythm, just taking charge of the football, being a little bit more careful with it. They were sloppy at the start. United have got a goal kick. Going to be taken by Harry Maguire. Works it short to Anana. Anana rolls it out to Aaron Wambasaka. Sorry to Willy Camboala, it is. And Dallo goes long to halfway. Liverpool with it back with Van Dijk and Endo. Back to Jarrell Kwanzaa. Out to the right hand side for Bradley, who always wants it. Gives it back to Jarrell Kwanzaa. Swinging pass to the left hand side. Robertson does well to keep it in play with a header. Headed away by Camboala. Headed back forward by McAllister. Headed down by Camboala to McAllister. Forward to Darwin Nunez. Liverpool can't hang on to possession. United break. Marcus Rashford. Forward it comes to Rasmus Hoyland. He's got Garnacho in a dangerous position. Can't get the passing though. Liverpool ever watchful defensively. Chasing Hoyland back. And now he's got a retreat. And Rashford's ball out towards Fernandez on the left hand side. His pass inside is intercepted, but United win it back. Sliding challenge from Marcus Rashford. But it uh, rolls out of play for a Liverpool throw in. Level with the edge of their own penalty area. There's a lot of cut and thrust about this game, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There is both, both ways, actually. United do look dangerous when they go forward. And Rashford, look, there from... Rashford looks as though he's going to have one of those going days, isn't he? Yeah. Started well. Yeah, he has. Well, he's got to, hasn't he? I mean, I don't know how he's given that United to eight. Well, Taylor. That was a, a full-blooded challenge there over on the touchline. It looked as though the ball had come off Maguire. The throw-in's given to United. They come forward now. Fernandez inside the penalty area goes down. Flags up for offside in any case. Not like Bruno Fernandez to complain, but he started already. And I think Anthony he's Taylor not, is just going to chat with him. He's just going to say point? to him, last chance. Mm. I mean, there's no point, is there? No, there's uh, no point in arguing and no point in allowing the referee the opportunity to, to book you for nothing. Liverpool in possession with Virgil van Dijk. Goes back to Quibi and Kelleher, out to the right-hand side. Concert, striding forward with a bit of purpose over halfway now forward pass towards McAllister takes it down on his chest edge of the penalty area has support if he wants from Dominic Zobersley his shot is blocked it breaks fortuitously for United for Fernandez clips a pass forward spotted by Connor Bradley and he wins it back and now Salah dropping deep to McAllister angled pass for Robertson Robertson gets a cross in from the left hand side off sliding in to meet it and so close to giving Liverpool the lead there was Dominic Zobersley, who's gone close to getting a goal, to slid in, put it wide at the target, but that's three occasions he's been close. Yeah, he has. did really well to get on the end of the cross there. He made a really late run into the box, it was a really good ball by Robertson, just cut it across. I mean, he should really hit the target, shouldn't he? I thought he would have hit it with his left, in all honesty. Yeah, he's let it come across his body. Come with his right. United on the break. Kobe Mainu. Challenge. Play on, says the referee. Mainu doesn't make much of a fuss of it. And Robertson goes back to the goalkeeper. Kabeen Kelleher out to. You get Jared the feeling, Mike, that if Liverpool switch it quick from right to left, they'll get in all the time. Because Garnacho has been caught ball watching a little bit. Darlow's gone in a bit narrow. If Andy Robertson can push on. Long downfield from Keller. The quicker you do things against Manchester United, particularly when you, you're on the break forward, the better chance you've got because yeah. they're not alert. No. But That's they're good in possession so ball, far so. today, United. Bruno Fernandes, Aruan Basaka, and uh, Marcus Rashford down that left hand side have looked decent, haven't they? Yeah, they have. They have. Well, we know they've got quality. It just depends whether they fancy it or not, but today we didn't think anything else other than that, yes, they would fancy it. But Liverpool have still been, for me, the better team. They've made the more chances. Liverpool have got themselves a throw-in on the right-hand side. 
midway inside their own half. Connor Bradley to take, nil nil. 19 and three quarter minutes gone. Full commentary on Manchester United versus Liverpool on Total Sport Merseyside. Nice link up there between Endo and Mo Salah. Pass out towards the left hand side. Nunez leaves it for Andy Robertson. In towards the edge of the penalty. Shoots! Ooh. It's four or five yards wide in the end, but uh, decent crack. And you can understand why he had a go. I think he had every right to. Yeah, he did, but you never fancied him, did you? You know, when he's lining it up. I mean, he, he just snatched at it, went horribly wide. But that's what I was talking about. If Liverpool can switch it really quick, Garnacho ball watches a little bit. He can leave Dallow exposed. Andy Robertson there was able to run 30, 40 yards, get to the edge of the box without anyone confronting him and get a free shot away at the United goal. United have got themselves a goal kick. And it's turned back by Kambwala to Anana. Anana taking his time. You wonder why from a United point of view, because slowing things down, it kind of plays into Liverpool hands a little bit. Well, it just lets him set, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, trying to unsettle Liverpool like they did in the early stages by closing down and forcing Liverpool into uh, one or two early mistakes possession-wide. Half-time in the championship in Rugby League, Jewsby nil, Widnes Vikings 12. Nice ball forward by Camboala. Good challenge there by McAllister to rob possession from Alejandro Garnacho. McAllister in towards the edge of the penalty. Luis Diaz pulls it back towards the edge of the penalty area, but it's cleared by United. Liverpool have it back. Diaz, McAllister, Endo. Lofted ball towards Salah. Oh. Gone behind for a corner. I thought that might just drop into the path of Mo Salah, who's making a run in at the far post. And Liverpool have got themselves another corner. Yeah, it was a good run from Mo. Little dart in behind. It was a lovely chip ball to him. And Kobe Mainu just got ahead on it and looked like it had deflected it into Mo's path, but it was just a little bit too high. Corner. It's going to be taken by Andy Robertson this one. Going to swing it in towards the near post. Or well, the edge of the six, he might decide to swing it out a little bit more, but maybe a bit deeper. In it comes towards the near post, headed down. A chance, one nil Liverpool. Luis Diaz after the flick header on from Darwin Nunez from the corner from Andy Robertson. Liverpool take the lead at Old Trafford. And the reaction of Luis Diaz was absolutely instant. Just like a week ago against Brighton and Anfield, the same goal-scoring predatory instincts do Liverpool a power of good. They take the lead at Old Trafford. Fantastic finish midway through the first half. Corner left-hand side by Robertson, headed on by Darwin Nunez. And a right-footed finish to admire at the far post from Luis Diaz. It's Manchester United nil, Liverpool won. Well, he's in a really rich vein of form, isn't he, Luis Diaz? All that happened there was Darwin Nunez made a run, he flicked it on, and there was absolutely no United player covering Diaz near that back post. He just needed to get a good contact on it with his right foot. It was decent enough, he hit it into the floor. The keeper, Odalo, couldn't keep it out, it's gone between the both of them. And it's a great start for Liverpool. Just what they've deserved, actually, because I think they've made some really good chances in this game. Should, should be ahead before now. That'll settle everyone down, that's for sure. Yeah, They do look it, like they're going to open Manchester United up every time they go well, forward. Well, uh, do you know, I mean, the fact that Dominic Zobber's like, and we know what he's like, his goals have been exquisite for Liverpool, pile drivers from the edge of the penalty area, but he's getting into positions inside the box. Yeah, he is. You know, United, United are incredibly open. The Liverpool fans rejoice and wave their scarves away to the right-hand side. And why wouldn't they? Fantastic to be in front of Old Trafford. But there's a long way to go in this contest. Bruno Fernandes, though, is robbed by Wataro Endo. Endo's forward ball to Salah. Salah out towards the left-hand side for Andy Robertson in acres of space. Forward ball from Robertson's a poor one. Comes back, though, off Diogo Dalla. It's a better cross from Robertson. Headed away by Maguire. Robertson allows it to go over his head and it's out of play for 
a Liverpool throw in more or less level with the edge of the penalty area thrown to Alexis McAllister the Liverpool fans are in really good voice and a, a nice bit of was. nice bit of trickery there from Alexis McAllister down by the corner flag Bruno Fernandes and Alejandro Garnacho tight to him and he did well to win the corner he was brilliant mate just took the ball into the corner waited for Fernandes to come and knew exactly and challenge him and happen. just played it off into the corner Andy Robertson created the goal with the corner a couple of minutes ago this time the corner is on the left hand side in towards the edge of the six yard box the header on it, Zobaslai shoots, it's blocked, headed back forward there by Nunez. Acrobatic clearance by Bruno Fernandes, lobbed forward by Conor Bradley, headed away there by Cambuala, headed back forward by Endo, taken down on the chest by Casemiro, but robbed there by Luis Diaz. Zobaslai tucks it into the path of Andy Robertson. Endo striding towards goal, but good challenge by Kobe Maney. And here come United on the break with Rasmus Hoyland out towards Marcus Rashford in field to Fernandez. Nice turn away there from Alexis McAllister. Think that well, he's brought it, brought him down. Thought he was reaching for his pocket there. Thankfully he isn't. Well, I, I don't think he's touched him. You know, you can see by the reaction, McAllister's reaction. Fernandez has let the ball run across him. He, he knew the challenge was coming. Yeah, in. he knew it was coming in. I don't think he has touched him, I think. He knew he was going to lose the ball. Free kick for Manchester United. Central position, midway inside the Liverpool half. Fernandez is over it. Rasmus Hoyland, Cabuala, Rashford and Garnacho on the edge of the box. Late runners into the far post as well. A chance for United. Oh, I'm going to say good defending from Liverpool. It's gone behind, it's missed. Liverpool didn't get the clearance in. But the fact that the cross came in towards the far post headed back across the face of goal there by Casemiro and thankfully no United player to get on the end of it Rasmus Hoyland looked to be the closest to it as he slid in well, I think they've probably been called offside had it ended up in the net because Casemiro and Harry Maguire were drifting into an offside position Liverpool go long downfield Quivine Kelleher United clear and Put it back inside Liverpool territory, but McAllister combines with Andy Robertson. Luis Diaz, score of the goal, being driven back by the presence of Dallo. Dallo does well to win it back for United. Casemiro for Fernandez, edge of the D. Fernandez slides it into the path of Rasmus Hoyland. Could never get it under his control, but Liverpool could. But United have won it back. And Fernandez for Kobe Mainu. Mainu tucks it short to the right hand side for Garnacho. Garnacho. Challenged by Darwin Nunez. And Alejandro Garnacho is having a real fierce word with the referee Anthony Taylor because he's given a free kick for the challenge on Darwin Nunez. And Alejandro Garnacho didn't like that decision at all. He, he didn't see Nunez. Nunez came in from the wrong side, got something on the ball, and it was just a follow through from Garnacho. Yeah, I think the referee got that one right. I think it was a foul. 28 and a half minutes gone at Old Trafford. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. You get the feeling that the scoring is far from finished here. Absolutely. Virgil van Dijk in possession in the left-back position. Goes long downfield, gives Darwin Nunez something to chase after. It's a mistake by Cambuala. Darwin Nunez in behind United defence. Down he goes. Good challenge by Campbell in the end, and the ball deflects off Nunez. And back into the arms of the United goalkeeper, Andre Andana. I think Nunez didn't expect Campbell to be getting back in behind to make no, the challenge, he didn't. did he? It was a last-ditch one as yeah. well, wasn't it, from him? It was an all or nothing. I think if Darwin Nunez just stands on the ball, I think the player slides and maybe brings him down. Maguire for United. Cambuala forward to Casemiro. Garnacha inside the centre circle. Lost possession, then won it back, then lost it again. Conor Bradley tidying up for Liverpool. Finds his captain, Virgil van Dijk. Nice ball from McAllister's Zobers Lai. Poked forward, and United win it back. 
Bobby Maynou and Harry Maguire. Casemiro back for Dallo. Bruno Fernandes is challenged. Well, challenged by Wataro Endo, and there appeared to be nothing in that whatsoever. And we know about Bruno Fernandes and his talents, and we know he's a moaner. But my goodness, does he make he makes the most of every Everything's, single contact. Yeah. Everything's a broken leg, isn't it? Free kick for United. 1-0 Liverpool lead. United in possession with Casemiro finds Dallo inside the centre circle. Garnaccio right hand side cutting in. Back for Diogo Dallo. Every Liverpool player back behind the ball. Lofted ball there from Casemiro into anywhere will do land. And straight to Liverpool's Praveen Kelleher. He works it out to Reggie Van Dijk. Praveen Kelleher gets it back. Played from the edge of the D to find Jarrell Kwanzaa. Forward it comes, Mo Salah on the right-hand side. Challenge Liverpool with a throw in. Midway inside the United half. Maybe slightly further back than that, maybe 20 yards inside the United half. Bradley to take. Liverpool leading by a goal to nil. Corner on the right-hand side, flicked on by Darwin Nunes and finished immaculately by Luis Diaz that's the difference between the two sides United have possession on the left hand side they want it back from the throwing in the end Marcus Rashford decides to go long back to his goalkeeper Scouser Tommy is the chorus of approval from the Liverpool supporters away to our right hand side their team one in front in this titanic Tussle at Old Trafford between two of football's biggest names. But the big tussle is for the Premier League title. And Liverpool need to stay in pole position where it appears as though only victories will do. Throw for United. Dallow just inside the Liverpool half, right hand side. Throws it all the way back to Harry Maguire. Maguire, ball at his feet. In turquoise boots lofted ball to the left hand side taken down by Marcus Rashford gets away from his man in Conor Bradley who got back goal side and then a link up with Aaron Wambasaka then Liverpool do well to win it back with Bradley Quantas lofted ball headed on but headed only on to Casemiro Kobe Mayu ran into a cul-de-sac of Liverpool players and Liverpool on the break McAllister from halfway picks out Luis Diaz Diaz into the path of Salah diving save from Andre Anana puts it behind for a corner that was about as direct as it comes Liverpool on the counter and they broke with such pace and such purpose there yeah brilliant attack wasn't it Liverpool just so quick in numbers as soon as they won that ball there was five of them all going found its way to Luis Diaz via McAllister he just Took it across the pitch a little bit, played both Salah in, first time edge of the box. Tried to play it in Onana's right-hand corner, didn't really set it off wide enough and it was a comfortable save for him. In comes the corner, left-hand side from Robertson towards the far post. Of eight, everybody might drop for Mo Salah, left-footed shot. Oh. Hey, once again, it's a good save by Onana. Salah had the time to bring it down. Uh, put enough bend on that shot. That was a weird one for me with Anana. You know, it was a decent effort from Mo, but he didn't get loads of well, pace in it. And I thought the keeper could have just say it, it, it lacked the pace. It was more the direction than the pace. And he was outside his post when he parried it as well. Behind for another corner, taken by Liverpool. Robertson to Zobers like back with Robertson. In comes the cross. Jarrell Kwanzaa attacking it, just couldn't get anything on it. Here's Dominic Zobers like picks out Nunes. Right footed curling shot just over the top. And Liverpool beginning to pile the pressure on. And in all honesty, for the amount of shots that they've had so far, I mean, Zobersla has had four. Salah, I think, has had three. Darwin Nunez, the, the, the racking the shots well, up. Well, wasn't it a stat at Brentford, wasn't it, when this United side played at Brentford? Gave 31 shots away in the game, which was, it was the most ever. But Liverpool are... Well, I think Liverpool are going to beat it. Well, 
The only disappointing thing there is that Liverpool haven't hit the target, you yeah, know, with, yeah. with Nunes there. He wasn't under any pressure. He took a touch. He could weigh it all up. At least make the keeper make a save. And sometimes the postage stamp ones from the edge of the penalty area, Kelly and they look great. Mm. Just go in anywhere to the back of the, anywhere in the net will do fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just hit the target. Make the keeper, if he is, make a save. Ten minutes to go to the break. Liverpool 1 0 in front. Full commentary on Total Sport Merseyside with Liverpool every step of the way. Every domestic game, home and away. BBC Radio Merseyside following Liverpool and Everton, of course. Diaz to the left-hand side. Robertson, Harry Porter towards the edge of the penalty. Here's Dominic Soberslai. Pulls it back in the far post. Salah! That's wasteful. <laughs> well, he got completely underneath it. Take it's way, touch. way over the top. Took it first time. Had the time to take a touch and get it under control. Jurgen Klopp is on his knees, almost in despair at the frustration for Mo Salah missing from there. Well, I hope they don't rue these missed chances, Mike. I mean, they did in the FA Cup game, didn't they? But, I mean, they're opening United up with such regularity that you, that you just think it's going to be a matter of time before they get a second. He's level with the penalty spot, 12 yards out, and he had time to take a touch. He did, he? yeah. He just got completely underneath it. No one near. The United clearance from Cambuala out towards their left-hand side. Goes out of play for a Liverpool throw-in. But Conor Bradley is going to take Liverpool lead 1-0. They're right on the brink, United, and the fans are of turn. And Mike, if Liverpool get a second, I think it'll happen. But they're just right on the edge. You can see Bruno. There's Fernandes. a long time to go in this game. Yeah. But this, whoever gets the next goal, it's going to be of huge importance here. Yeah, it is. Liverpool throw midway inside the United half on the right. Bradley to take, looking for runners. Gets one on Nunez. Goes down the line instead for Luis Diaz. Diaz pushed out of it by Harry Maguire. Play on, says the referee. Maguire clears. Liverpool win it back with Zobas Lai. Then United win it back with Kobe Mainu. Into the path of Marcus Rashford. Herring down the left-hand side. Gerard Bosch is going with him. Rashford showing great pace and great awareness, but couldn't keep the ball in play. And Liverpool take the throw in. Zobas Lai infield to Alexis McAllister. Rolls it back short to... The captain, Virgil van Dijk. Jarel Kwanzaa. Chosen in preference today to Ibrahim Kanate. Jürgen Klopp liking to rotate Kanate and Kwanzaa mm. a fair bit lately. I think a lot of that to do with not just the progress Jarel Kwanzaa is making, but also Ibrahim Kanate has had his injury problems, hasn't he? Maybe yeah, that, yeah, that is also I mean, a factor. Yeah. I mean, Quantz has done nothing wrong, has he? He's been brilliant every time he's played. His reading of the game is very good. He's very elegant. He's good in possession. And when you consider, you know, he's another one of the, the kids. Yeah. And, and nobody thinks of him. None of the Liverpool fans think, think of him as, as one of the kids now he, he's, because he's played so often. Yeah. I mean, they had a better ball back to McAllister. Knew exactly what he wanted to do. Play Conor Bradley and who was in. Just gave it to... McAllister awkward, made the pass awkward and he overhit it only by a yard. United in possession, trying to build from the back, forward from Dallow, straight to Virgil van Dijk, heads it to the path of Alexis McAllister, back for Zobersly. Nice quick feet from Zobersly to take him away from a potential challenge from Bruno Fernandes. Virgil van Dijk rolls it across the defensive line with a square ball for Kwanzaa. Bradley breaks inside United territory now, checks back for Kwanzaa. And then Quivine Kelleher, all in orange today, the Liverpool goalkeeper. Ten yards outside his penalty area. And works a 1-2 with Endo. Kwanzaa lifts it forward towards Nunes. Cambuala heads it down for Maguire to clear untidily up in the skies, but he won the second ball with a header. And then Diaz wins it inside the centre circle. Back for Virgil van Dijk on the left-hand side. Left-hand side is Robertson. Endo. For Van Dijk again. Six minutes to go to half time. Liverpool a goal to the good. Diaz the goal scorer. Endo's forward ball for Diaz. Just allowed the ball to run away from him. And Cambuala in with the challenge. Diaz looks as though he's hurt himself there. I think it was the block challenge nature of it. And the United players not looking to put the ball out of play. But eventually Casemiro does, because Luis Diaz is on the deck. The referee, Anthony Taylor, 
by no means was telling United to do that. It's not a head injury. Hence the jeers from the United fans. It, it's one of those grey areas, and, and, and me, I think preferably. It's the other foot, isn't it? It's yeah. the other foot that comes in and it just comes in and catches him. But uh, if the foul isn't given, I think you should play on. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's yeah, what should I happen, think. unless it is a head injury. And if it is a head injury, then the referee will call it back. Yeah. Yeah, you're spot on, Mike. You know, United didn't have an obligation to give the ball back to Liverpool there because it wasn't a foul. Darwin Nunez thought that was going to be a, a drop ball. No, it isn't. It's a throw-in for Liverpool, of course. The ball was put out by Casemiro. Nunez is having that explained to him by Anthony Taylor. The ball's thrown to Luis Diaz. He's roundly booed by the United fans as he delivers the ball back to United's possession. It's Harry Maguire. Midway inside the United half. Central position. Slowing things down. Willie Camboala. Back for Maguire. Four minutes to go to half time. They're going to go all the way back to the goalkeeper. Andre Inanna short for Dallo. Camboala right side to the penalty area. Dallo in field for Casemiro. One touch to control and then finds Harry Maguire. Right footed ball out towards the left hand side. Good ball there for Rashford. But Rashford's first time pass aimed at Rasmus Hoyland. He's overhit safely through to Quibby and Kelleher. Hoyland has hardly touched the ball. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. He's working off scraps, isn't he? Good play by Endo. A floated ball for Connor Bradley to run in behind the United defence. And he's got possession. Connor Bradley pulls it back for Nunes. Diaz! Shot just blocked. It's another Liverpool corner. Again, the United defence in disarray. And the man who started it all there was Connor Bradley, first with his endeavour, then with his enterprise. A nice ball inside for Darwin Nunez, who dummied it, allowed it to run through his legs, and Diaz's shot was blocked. Yeah, they just need to take the time when they're getting in these areas, because there, if he takes his time, Diaz takes a little touch, things might open up for him, as it was, it was blocked, it was a really difficult finish. But he would have had to go the other way. Yeah, Dallow's blocked about four or five mm. already. Shots that look goal-bound. He's just picked the wrong corner there, Diaz. Corner right hand side, this time Zobber's like to take it towards the edge of the six yard box. United headed clear. Liverpool with McAllister guided back to Andy Robertson. Robertson lifts it out to the right hand side to Zobber's like. One in the air there with the head of Bruno Fernandes. Casemiro for Fernandes again. Ball downfield is badly overhit and to not within 50 yards of a United player and fielded. Out on the boundary ropes on the touchline there by Kravine Kelleher. Liverpool build from the back with patience with Endo. McAllister back with Endo. At a stretch, Connor Bradley manages to maintain possession then go out to Jarrell Kwanzaa, herring down the right-hand side. Connor Bradley is past his man again. Easily past Casemiro. Here's Mo Salah. It was the near post. Nunez was making the move towards the ball but couldn't get there quick enough. United clear, long downfield, but United almost can't get out of the moment. No, they can't. They're struggling, aren't they? They are really struggling. Liverpool Great beginning to dominate possession. And here's Luis Diaz on the turn away from Dallo. Dallo just about won it back. Diaz wouldn't have it, but then United win control of the ball. And then great option of a pass on for Fernandez towards Rashford, but Liverpool break up the play, win it back again. And forward they come with Salah, right hand side. It's got to be a foul. Challenged by Harry Maguire. Out he's all over Salah. Yeah, he's, if this is anywhere in midfield, arms with people with arms it. around pulling people down, it's a free kick. Def definite free kick. Under what rules or laws of football is that not a free kick? Liverpool throwing level with the penalty spot almost. Luis Diaz, the target from Conor Bradley's throw. Eventually, Liverpool work it back to Virgil van Dijk. Then Kwanzaa, right-hand side, 10 yards inside the United half. Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. 30 seconds of normal time remaining in the first half. There won't be too much to add on, I wouldn't have thought. Liverpool go back to Quibby and Kelleher. 
who's not had a save to make so far. Connor Bradley races in behind the United defence again. This time, Aaron Wan-Bissaka gets the better of him. Finds Fernandez. And then left-hand side, Rashford. United trying to join things up, but Liverpool break up the play. And again through McAllister and Diaz. And now Nunez, left-hand side, is inside the box now. Two minutes to add on. Nunez, a bit of chance, or a good save by Andre Anana. Across the face of goal behind for a corner but the flags are for offside in any case and United have a free kick at the moment Liverpool are cutting through this United defence almost at will yeah yeah they are I mean they've made so many opportunities and chances in this first half but really it's a it's a crime they've only gone in one nil up it is a downside isn't yeah. it yeah, and it that's is. what you'd have to say I mean say. The, the positive is they're in the lead aren't they and they've uh, They've kept United down to very few opportunities. You know, we had a good start to the game, really open end to end. But since then, Liverpool have just took control. And good head say, of Mike, it's, it's been almost embarrassing these last 30 minutes. Total control, Liverpool, in terms of possession, chances created, Liverpool's defensive solidity. But 1 0 is never anywhere near total control and superiority in a football match as Diaz does really well to win by possession on the left-hand side from Dallow, finds Salah, back towards McAllister might break for Zobber's line, tees up Connor Bradley shoots, it's blocked, it's another Liverpool corner How many chances are they going to have? I mean, it's brilliant play to work the, the, the situation and then Connor Bradley when he just needs a little cool head was he trying to slide back he was towards trying the far to, post? He, yeah, I think he was trying to shoot. I mean, there was a little cutback just to Zaboslai who just played him the ball. But the way they fashioned the chance, Liverpool, was just brilliant. Yeah. Some really, really good see football. Zaboslai and Salah were waiting for Bradley just to pull it back. Corner on the right-hand side. Zaboslai is going to take it in towards the near post. It's a poor one. It's easily away by Bruno Fernandes. Given it's nice to have variation in corner takers, but given how good Robertson has been with his. Half time whistle from referee Anthony Taylor. 15 shots from Liverpool. Manchester United, no shots. That about uh, sums up statistically how the first half has gone. Even though United had a goal disallowed, it was clearly offside with the naked eye. It didn't need any VAR intervention. And the only other thing that we've had from United is a free kick floated towards the far post, headed back across the face of goal, and United not having anybody able to get on the end of it as it was turned across the six-yard box. Liverpool, if Liverpool were 5-0 in front, it would be fantastic, but nobody could say that was a bit of a fluke because that's how good Liverpool's chances have been. But a, a really terrific goal from the corner from Robertson, headed on by Nunez and Diaz, as you said, in commentary, in a rich vein of goal-scoring yeah. form. Yeah, he is. It was a, a really good set-piece. Nunes made the run near post, was found with the corner, just flicked it on, and nobody was anywhere near Diaz. And Thankfully, he put that one in the back of the net. But they've been so dominant, Liverpool, after that first five or ten minutes, that, like you say, Mike, if they were 5 nil up, no-one could, could say they don't deserve it because they've opened United up at will, especially down this left-hand side here. When they switch the ball quick and do it from right to left, they get in all the time and the only disappointing thing that I'm sure Jürgen Klopp will mention it at half time will be you can't have that many chances and only score one goal you know you've got to be more ruthless hopefully it won't cost them I don't think it will because you know the way the game's going Liverpool are going to get more chances 15 shots to United's none is a uh, a damning indictment of how bad it is uh, and been after just the first a concern ten. is that I don't think I may be wrong because there have been some low points for Manchester United in recent years I can't see them playing as bad as that in the second half no you can't but then saying that you know are they going to change at the back I don't think they can change at the back to the way they've played I think Liverpool will still find no matter what United do or change I think Liverpool will still find ways to open them up they've done it time and time again in that first half and I'm sure that United will have been all the way through that first half Ten Hag will have been worried and, and I'm sure he's done one or two little tweaks but you, it hasn't made any difference whatsoever to the game and if it wasn't for Anana it would be four or five yeah I mean He's made two or three really good saves 
But on the whole, Liverpool have been quite wasteful. Liverpool have been wasteful, but they do have an advantage at half-time. Liverpool need to keep on winning matches, and hopefully that's exactly what's going to happen today. Half-time score at Old Trafford. They still have a lot to do, 45 minutes and more to go, but it's Manchester United nil, Liverpool 1. Total Sports. BBC Radio Merseyside. And of course, we'll be back at Old Trafford in plenty of time for the second half there. Liverpool in control of that game. 15 shots to nil, as Mike Hughes was saying there, but just the one goal to show for it. If you want uh, commentary on Dewsbury Rams against Witness Vikings, that's online via the uh, BBC Rugby League pages. Witness in control seemingly of that game. 22 points to nil uh, they lead at the moment, but online commentary on that one. Still to come in the Premier League at 5.30 at Sheffield United against Chelsea. And at six o'clock, Tottenham against Nottingham Forest. And earlier today in Scotland, what a game. It finished Rangers 3, Celtic 3. A result from the Women's Challenge Cup in Rugby League and a win for St Helens away at Warrington by 58 points to six. So you're just about up to date. Into the Total Sport archives now as we travel back in time. On this day in 2007, Liverpool left it late, beating Reading 2-1 at the Medeski Stadium and it was a game that saw Alvaro Arbeloa, remember him, score his first goal for the Reds. BBC Radio Merseyside Sports on this day. Free kick comes in from Shorey, left footed. The Liverpool wall does its job. And now Liverpool could break. Bellamy's aware through the centre. Arbeloa looks to find him, doesn't get there first time. Finds Crouch in support. Peter Crouch, here's Alvaro Arbeloa! And Arbeloa scores! It's his first goal for Liverpool. The Reds went from one end of the field to the other. And Arbeloa was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And cool as you like. Slotted the ball past Hanneman's left hand into the back of the net. And we played quarter of an hour at the Medeski. It's Reading nil. It's Liverpool 1. Free kick for the Royals. Floated forward by Shorey. May fall in the box there for Harper. Liverpool just about managed to clear their lines, but Reading still have it. Ball crossed in by Long. Real danger here. Shot comes in. And it's the equaliser. Grignard Gunnarsson. Liverpool caught out, the ball delivered back over the Reds' back line and the man who's only playing today because of injury to Graham Murty chested the ball down, rifled it across the face of goal in off the far post, Pepe Reina is beaten two minutes played, second half, Reading 1, Liverpool 1 Jermaine Pennant Right side of the penalty area, cuts inside, can he find a red shirt? Cross comes in, Couch with the header! And Liverpool could have stolen it right at the death. Great play by Jermaine Pennant. Credit to the winger, looked up, found a red shirt. Couch closed in, headed the ball down past Hanneman. Four and a half minutes still to play, Reading one. Liverpool 2. Rafa, congratulations. Thank you. Good three points. Did you feel your side just about did enough to win today? I think that the first half uh, we had a plan and was clear that we needed to play counter-attack. They were going forward, pressing high and then we needed to do the right movements and had chances in counter-attack. We had chances. We had mm, the final pass was very, very close but we couldn't find the player. It was again, the first half was again for maybe 0-2 or, or things like this. And after we conceded a goal, an early goal, and it was a different game. They were pressing and we had problems and we needed to change uh, the style of football. And then we had more control, more possession and more chances. Talk me through Alvaro Arbeloa's goal. When you signed him, is that the kind of thing you expected? I thought that was a, a striker, but at the end it was it's a defender. No, it's a, we knew that uh, it's a player that could go forward with the ball, running with the ball. But in this case, uh, I think that was a, the first pass was a bad pass because Bellamy was uh, free and then he tries to pass with the outside and then uh, give the ball away. And the ball keeps uh, with a crouch and then was the, the situation of the pass for him. 
But uh, at the end of the day, it's an important goal, and for him, for his confidence, will be uh, really good. As a manager, when you send on two players who then combine to score the winning goal, do you offer yourself a, a pat on the back? No, in this moment, I think that I have a very good staff. BBC Radio Merseyside Sports on this day. Rafa Benitez uh, talking to Gary Flintoff after Liverpool uh, winning at Reading in 2007. Uh, just to bring you up to date with the cricket and, of course, uh, as you can see from uh, Old Trafford football ground, the rain been pouring down and it's a close of play on day three of four. Lancashire against Surrey. Surrey 15 without loss, uh, trailing Lancashire by 187 runs. Lancashire made 202 all out in their first innings. Total Sport Merseyside will be back at Old Old Trafford shortly. Liverpool in front. Liverpool managed to win back possession on halfway, but United have it back. Bruno Fernandes, 4-4 for Garnacho. Garnacho in on goal. He's around the goalkeeper. He scores for United, but I think the flag's going to go up. And it has. He looked offside with the naked eye, and of course this will go to VR. But he, 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 looked, he looked a couple of yards offside in the early stages. Liverpool guilty of... Conceding possession needlessly. Forward it comes from Nunez. Knocks it down into the path of Mo Salah. Salah's forward ball towards Zobers Live with a chance. Oh, what a good save from the United goalkeeper, Andre Anana. A full stretch corner left hand side. Strefford end. Andy Robertson to take. Right arm aloft is the signal to his teammates. In it comes. Headed away. Salah edge of the penalty area on his left foot. Back for Zobers Lyle. Missed by. Only a matter of inches, just over the top from Dominic Zoberslai. That was a really nice ball, played into him tidily by Salah. And because it was played quickly, there was a lot of pace on the right-footed shot from Zoberslai. It wasn't too far off target, forward pass towards McAllister. Takes it down on his chest, edge of the penalty area. Has support if he wants from Dominic Zoberslai, his shot is blocked. It breaks fortuitously for United for Fernandez. Clips a pass forward, spotted by Connor Bradley, and he wins it back, and now Salah dropping deep to McAllister. Angled pass for Robertson. Robertson gets across him from the left-hand side off. Sliding in to meet it, and so close to giving Liverpool the lead there was Dominic Zobberslight, who's gone close to getting a goal, just slid in, put it wide at the target, but that's three occasions he's been close. Yeah. Corner. It's going to be taken by Addy Robertson, this one. Going to swing it in towards the near post. Or the edge of the six, he might decide to swing it out a little bit more, but maybe a bit deeper. In it comes towards the near post, headed down. A chance for the Liverpool. Luis Diaz after the flick header on from Darwin Nunez from the corner from Andy Robertson. Liverpool take the lead at Old Trafford. And the reaction of Luis Diaz was absolutely instant. Just like a week ago against Brighton and Anfield, the same goal-scoring predatory instincts do Liverpool a power of good. They take the lead at Old Trafford. Quantz has lofted ball, headed on. They headed only on to Casemiro. Kobe Mayne ran into a cul-de-sac of Liverpool players and Liverpool on the break. McAllister from halfway, picks out Luis Diaz, Diaz into the path of Salah! Diving save from Andre Anana, puts it behind for a corner. That was about as direct as it comes, Liverpool on the counter, and they broke with such pace and such purpose there. Yeah, brilliant attack, wasn't it? For another corner, taken by Liverpool, Robertson to Zobersley, back with Robertson, in comes the cross. Jarrell Kwanzaa. Attacking it, just couldn't get anything on it. Here's Dominic Zobersley. Picks out Nunes! Right footed curling shot just over the top. And Liverpool beginning to pile the pressure on. McAllister! Oh! Comes back to Trent Alexander Arnold! Oh, he's done it! Salah, he's controlled it. He's inside the penalty. Down towards the dead ball and left footed! Simicass is going to take the corner, curls it in towards the edge of the six guard, but that died! McAllister on the edge of the penalty area, chips the ball in, there's the header down! Yes. Darwin Nunez has done it! Yes. BBC Radio Merseyside.
15 shots to nil, but only one goal to nil. So what's in store in the second half at uh, Old Trafford? Let's get back there now. Liverpool leading by that Lewis Diaz goal by a goal to nil. Let's rejoin our commentary team of Craig Hignett and Mike Hughes. Yes, thank you, Ian. Uh, it's astonishing that Liverpool have only got one goal uh, when you consider that they could have had, well, a, an absolute hatful. But Liverpool have scored 15 goals in their last five trips to Old Trafford in all competitions. So it's been a fairly happy hunting ground for them in terms of, of goals. But this after scoring only 13 in the previous uh, four visits. In the pre 13 in the previous 14 visits. Uh, and Liverpool so much in control in this game. I can't remember a match at Old Trafford where, I mean, you, you look at, at how Liverpool beat Manchester United by five here not that long ago, Craig, and I, I know you were here that day. But Liverpool's domination is total, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, United, apart from the first, you know, the early bits of it, I haven't really been in the game, Mike. I can't remember too many chances for them to break on Liverpool and get in behind them or to get efforts away on goal. It's been absolutely dominant from Liverpool. I, I, really, I, I'm, I'm with you. I can't. You know, I was here for the five nil, but even then, I, I can't. I can't think Liverpool were on top as much. I mean, they've been. There's been absolutely nothing United could have done about Liverpool and the way they attack and the way they break on them. They're down this left-hand side, has been a free-for-all. You know, Robertson, Diaz, whoever's made a run down here, whether it's Nunez, getting in all the time. Um, so Jim Ratcliffe, just seen him in the director's box away to our left-hand side. He's talking very in animated fashion there to Sam Allardyce. Said, Sam Allardyce next in, in line, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't think so. But listen, he's he's got deep pockets, Sir Jim, and he's going to need them. And you look at this United team, and if you measure the the gulf between Liverpool and it's, this United team, it's a chasm. Oh, it's it's going to take more than millions, put it that way, to to try and level it up. But when you look, and we we mentioned it before, United are out. By the way, Liverpool just joining them now, and Liverpool run out and do their familiar exercises as they leave the familiar little. Little runs towards the touchline before they actually move in unison towards the halfway line. If you look at the, the quality that United have at the top end of the pitch, Rashford, Fernandez, Garnacho, Garnacho. They've got Casemiro who can be invented with the ball. We know Kobe Main who can as well. But as we hinted in commentary, Rasmus Hoyland. Might as well not be on the field. He, he's hardly touched it. No, he hasn't. I mean, that shows you the dominance Liverpool have had. He's he's been a long figure. More often than not, he's chasing shadows, trying to close Liverpool down. They just play around him, start attacks again. It's a really lonely role for Hoyland. But Liverpool only lead by a goal to nil. That is a concern after so much dominance in the opening 45 minutes. But it's the Reds in their green and white quartered shirts that get us going in the second half back from Zoppa's line to Jarrell Kwanza right for the ball forward is one in the air there by Kobe Maynard but Liverpool collected with Nunes a long range effort from him and when I say long range it was about 35 yards that yeah. uh, didn't trouble the goalkeeper at all and it's a United goal kick and Anana gets it back from Harry Maguire then clears long downfield it's over the head of Andy Robertson and Liverpool have got themselves Throw in on the left hand side, taken quickly. McAllister floats it ball in for Mo Salah. One in the air there by Wamba Saka, hooked clear by Harry Maguire inside the penalty, headed for by Endo, headed back with interest by Wamba Saka. And McAllister heads it back to Van Dijk. Van Dijk does the sensible thing, goes back to Kubin Kelleher. Immediate ball from him out towards the left hand side, Andy Robertson with a cushion headed pass from McAllister. McAllister forward move. Gets away from Fernandez, checks away from Casemiro too. Invited the second challenge from Casemiro, rather took the sting off the ball and eventually released, released into the path of Conor Bradley and Mo Salah. Conor Bradley tries to keep it in play, didn't manage it even with a, a drastic back heel. And it's behind for a Manchester United goal kick. Craig Hignett. Yeah, well, the second half started in the same way that the first half finished. Liverpool winning all the second balls. 
on the front foot, looking to play people in, trying to get down the sides of United. And again, McAllister knitting it all together. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, United have, have sort of <coughs> just gone to long balls, you can see. You know, the first couple from Onana has been long. That one from Harry Kane's been long. From Harry Kane? Have they Sorry, him Harry Kane. <laughs> Harry Maguire. <laughs> Harry Kane. They could do with Harry Kane, United. I don't think he'd make a difference. United in possession, throw in left-hand side. Good run forward from Kobe Maynard. Trying to tee it up there for Bruno Fernandes. Liverpool win it back there with Luis Diaz. Finds Nunez. Nunez scampering across the field, making a lateral run from the right of centre out towards the left-hand side. Finds Robertson. Robertson's in behind Dallow. Gets a cross in. Away by Maguire. Nunez. Shot blocked. Well, that looked to be going. Harry Maguire made the block. He's hurt himself there, I think, he's, I think he's... Alexis McAllister has gone down and hurt himself, but United on the counter with Rashford inside the penalty area, down towards the dead ball line, keeps it in play. Fabulous defending from Jarrell Kwanzaa to just take the ball off the toes of Rashford and finds Connor Bradley. Alexis McAllister is getting up, but he's running only at a quarter pace. Salah making a surge forward, had to thread it through to Darwin Nunez, all, almost, almost achieved it. And the referee gets in the way of Kobe Mainu. And the ball comes back off Anthony Taylor to Dominic Zobersley. Play restarts. Well, thankfully, he's up a, McAllister. Yeah. He's back in. A drop ball in favour of Manchester United. Garnacho moves across the pitch with the ball. Finds wan Left-hand side is Rashford. Maguire and Casemiro combine. All the Liverpool players back behind the ball. We've had three and a half minutes of the second half. Still, Liverpool lead by a goal to nil. Full commentary on Total Sport Merseyside, your first station for football. Maguire. Again, this ponderous build-up from the back. Forward ball for Garnacho. Easily won in the air by Endo, who's been fantastic again as a defensive screen. McAllister with a lovely ball for Diaz. Diaz edges the penalty. Trying to pick out Salah, away by wan -Bissaka. only as far as Conor Bradley. Conor Bradley for McAllister, McAllister turns and short for Robertson. Robertson to the left-hand side for Diaz. Diaz controls, it goes back for Robertson, who's 15 yards inside the United half, left-hand side, infield for Endo. Endo thinks about moving forward the ball, goes back with Robertson. Diaz and Robertson combine again, then the Liverpool left-back brings Virgil van Dijk into the equation and a terrible ball from Kwanzaa might be a chance for Fernandez has equalized with an extraordinary goal Kwanzaa played the ball inside the center circle inside the Liverpool half it went straight to Bruno Fernandez Fernandez spotted that Quivine Kelleher was out of his goal he lofted it goalwards and it bounced and into the back of the net a mistake by Jarrell Kwanzaa of gigantic proportions and United, after being almost pulverised possession and chance-wise in the first half, 15 shots from Liverpool, none for United, are back on terms within five minutes of the second half with that long-range effort from Bruno Fernandes. Can you believe it? Manchester United won, Liverpool won. Well, it's so sloppy from Kwanzaa. Not sure what he was thinking of. It's a brilliant finish from Fernandez. He spots Quivine Kelleher off his line. It's a good strike. Sneaks in that near post. It's not what United deserve. But when you make mistakes like that, especially in the Premier League, they get punished. He's had such a good game. Yeah, I mean, he started quite sloppy, actually. He made a couple of uh, sloppy in ones early five, on, yeah, but then minutes, got, but got himself going and, and played really well. Well, that was just, I mean, that was sloppy beyond belief. And it all it almost comes from the, the, the mindset of Liverpool's superiority and dominance. Yeah. But look, that's what it does now. It gives them a lift. The yeah. fans are up, everyone's up. The players are, look like they've got another spring in their step. Forward ball from Rashford for Garnaccio. Virgil van Dijk does well to push it out towards Conor Bradley. Manchester United battling for everything. They've won it back with Kobe Maynou now, but only into the path of Bradley. Bradley's ball forward to 
Darwin Nunez turns away from Cambuala. Willie Cambuala does well, then Darwin Nunez pulls his shirt. And the referee isn't going to go for his pocket. And he, he's been quite retrospect, hasn't he, with the... Mm. Quite introspective, rather, with the, the use of the cards. And in a game of this nature, that's maybe a good thing. Yeah, just give yourself a little bit of wiggle room later on, doesn't it? Free kick for Manchester United, taken by Andre Anana. Well, that was an incredible goal. And uh, Liverpool could have been four or five in front. All of a sudden, it's back all square. And that's always the danger when you miss chances. United on the counter again. Wataro Endo went for the interception, slid in, couldn't gather it. Kobe Mainu out towards the left-hand side. Marcus Rashford, left edge of the penalty on his right foot, makes a lateral run across the edge of the box. Casemiro towards Alejandro Garnacho, right edge of the box on his left foot, takes a deflection. Corner for United. All of a sudden, United's tails are up. Well, I don't know why Andy Robertson doesn't go out and get close to him. He just leaves him, lets him come to the edge of the box and get a decent shot. It deflects up and over. Just a million miles away. It just shows you what goals do in games, Mike. Yeah, it's the old adage of goals change games. Uh, Garnacho shot deflected for a corner, wasn't too far away. Dangerous player, free kick, corner kick rather for United. Right hand side, Fernandez going to take it. Shepherd and in it comes Maguire with the header. Oh, I thought it was going. In. Goldwood's there, but it flicked off his head and out towards the left-hand side. Rashford gets the low cross in. Oh, it's a save by the goalkeeper. I think he must have been unsighted. Liverpool clear and put it behind for a corner. But it was curled in by Marcus Rashford. Quivin Keller has stayed on his line. It bounced up. Looked like it might be going into the back of the net, but he managed to get his palms onto it. And then Liverpool cleared, put it behind for another United corner. It's panic stations. Well, it is at the moment. Liverpool needs to settle themselves down. You were fortunate there that it arrived at the feet of a Liverpool player. Fernandez to the edge of the penalty for Dallo. Garnaccio gives it away. He was go. looking for Casemiro, found only Zobersly over halfway. He's got runners to his right, runners to his left. Here's Mo Salah through to Diaz. Diaz at the far post, Nunez. What's oh, my doing? goodness. What was he doing? But it looks just like as though he was squaring it back across the face of goal and there was nobody there or was it just a dreadful shot whatever well, has happened it's come back across the six yard box from Darwin Nunez at the far post and United have put it behind for a corner kick that looked like a goal all over same again 4v2 wasn't it Liverpool worked it from left to right played it really well and then when it found Nunez I don't know why he's not finishing that Unless he is trying to finish it, and he's just got it horribly wrong. Corner that Robertson's going to take from the right-hand side. Headed away at the near post by Fernandez. Salah for Conor Bradley. Heads it back forward. Away by Casemiro for United. Chested down by Kobe Mainu. Good challenge by McAllister. Slides in. Wins the ball back. Infield it comes to Zobersly. Going to have a crack, is he? No. Threads it through to the run of Robertson. Intercepted by Aaron Wambasaka. Clears. Liverpool have it back with Bradley then. Endo, McAllister's ball comes off the referee. Again, he's getting into some good positions to stop the game. One for United, yeah, now one for Liverpool. Is, yeah. He is. Trying to switch it out, I think there's a buzz light to Luis Diaz. Just smashed into the referee. Liverpool in possession, right-hand side. With Cotter Bradley. After that restart from the defensive interference. Nice involvement from Conor Bradley. Too late. Nice link up with Dominic Zobersley. He had a chance to yeah. play the ball in and he waited that split second too long. And Wan Bissaka was across to make the block. It's another Liverpool corner. Yeah, he should have just put it in. It was a really good one too. Like Conor Bradley got in behind Marcus Rashford and he took a touch and let the United defender come over instead of just putting it in the box first time. Zobersley with the corner right hand side. In it comes. Headed away by Casemiro. Alexis McAllister finds Zobber's light, right-hand side, infield to McAllister, right-footed ball back to the arc of the centre circle inside the United half, Andy Robertson, Conor Bradley, Endo, nice turn by Diaz, here's Darwin Nunez, 
inside the box. Back it goes, right-footed shot, blocked, headed away by Fernandez. Only as far as Nunez. Kobe Menu slides forward with the ball, gives it away. Liverpool do likewise, and United come forward inside the centre circle with Rasmus Hoyland, who still hardly touched the ball. And Liverpool win it back with Jarrell Kwanzaa. Dominic Zobersly, right at his penalty area, Mo Salah. Zobersly runs outside him. Lovely pass there for Bradley, he's inside the box now. Conor Bradley pulls it back for Mo Salah. Salah still on his left foot, tees it up for McAllister, shot's blocked. Lovely run there by Conor Bradley. But as the ball was played in towards Mo Salah, he couldn't get it from under his feet. Liverpool clear. That's a good challenge by Gerard Kwanzaa. Well, there was a foul there, Hoyland. No, Hoyland. Kwanzaa just took him out after he got first touch on the ball. But now the pace of this game has lifted up another notch, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he was trying to get a shot off there, wasn't he? Mo Salah running across the box. Just wouldn't fall for him, would it? Wouldn't fall right. Couldn't get a clean strike. And the amount of blocks that Manchester United have got in in this game is unbelievable. Witness beat Dewsbury 24-6 in Rugby League's Championship, by the way. Well done, the Vikings. United throw in wan -Bissaka. Long... Intended clearance downfield that went across his own penalty area from Aaron Wambasaka, but he found Diogo Dallo rather fortunately on the other side of the pitch. Here's Bruno Fernandes, wriggles away from Endo, left edge of the penalty area. In comes a cross from Rashford, taken inside the six yard box by Quivine Kelleher, but that's twice that have been from those same crosses from Marcus Rashford that have caused problems for Kelleher. But here come Liverpool. Dominic Zobersly, Conor Bradley's inside the box now at the other end. Pulls it back, intercepted by Harry Maguire. Conor Bradley gets back goal side and he wins it back. And Liverpool again, Zobersly linking up with Salah. Zobersly tries to pull it back to Darwin Nunez. Controls it on the chest. Might break for McAllister. Sliding into clear, Kobe Mainu. The referee's going to give a free oh, kick. That's never been a free kick. Didn't if look he didn't a free give kick. a free kick here for Hoyland, that's never been a free kick there either. Well, it's high octane football, 59 minutes gone. It's Manchester United 1, Liverpool 1. But we've seen those those balls in from the left edge of the penalty area from Marcus Rashford, hit with his right foot. And both those crosses have caused problems for Quivian Kelleher. Yeah, they're them ones that they're bending in on the goal, far post, and keepers worried that someone's going to get a touch yeah. before it actually bounces. And, and no doesn't one want does. to commit. Yeah. Free kick. Replay, that's never been a, never been didn't a foul. Look, didn't look like a foul. No, it wasn't there. A foul. <laughs> but that extraordinary equaliser four minutes into the second half from Bruno Fernandes after a dreadful mistake from Jarrell Kwanzaa. Presented possession for Bruno Fernandes. And he was 40 yards out but spotted the Quivine. Keller was out of his goal. Lofted it goalwards. And he beat the goalkeeper. And into the back of the net it went. This after Liverpool totally dominant in the first half and they've had the better of things in the second but United have been noticeably better in this second period. Well it was only since the goal Mike wasn't it? The goal gives them a little spurt. But, but they've they've created bits and pieces yeah. haven't they? And they've had Quivian Kelleher with some anxious moments and but it, as you say it's it's the fact that the goals change the game. Yeah, and Liverpool need another one of them at least. And they've got to keep United at bay as well. Liverpool throwing on the right-hand side, Conor Bradley to take. Midway inside the United half, gets it back up Zobber's life. Lifts it forward, United win it back with wan -Bissaka. Works a 1-2 with Rashford, Casemiro in field. One back by McAllister, five-star with Unions, right-hand side. Edge of the penalty is Mo Salah. Unions made a forward move towards the ball. Managed to win it back. And slides it goal with straight to Anana. He'd done all the hard work by winning the ball back from two United players when he shouldn't have any right to win the ball, and he got the ball. More composure needed yeah, on it. Yeah, there was. He was trying to find something that's not there. You know, he's trying to thread one through the eye of a needle. Just gives it back to United needlessly. Maguire across the edge of the penalty area. United ship it out to the right hand side for Wambasaka. 
it's Kobe Main who put under pressure. Challenge there by McAllister. Play on the referee. Back United go to Harry Maguire. This is Juan Basaka, left hand side. Casemiro. Ball forward to Main who was cut out there by Endo. Liverpool come forward and Zobas like. Making up with Mo Salah. Challenged by Casemiro. Zobas like hits the deck. United working out with Bruno Fernandes to Marcus Rashford. Good challenge by Kwanzaa. Sliding in to put it out for a throw-in to Manchester United. Taken by Marcus Rashford. Fernandes to Kobe Maynard. Casemiro. Right footed to the right hand side for Garnacho. Running at the Liverpool defence. Inside the box now. Tried to pull it back. It deflected off a couple of Liverpool players. And Luis Diaz had a chance to move forward. But United win it back with Diogo Dalla. Fernandes is surely offside, isn't he? Flag stays down as he tried to knock a goal, which made a contact, but no problem with the Quivian Kelleher. Striding forward with real menace is Dominic Zoboslai. Zoboslai, edge of the D, sets it up for Darwin Nunez, chips it in towards the far post, headed away by Maguire. And Zoboslai chases out towards the left-hand side, back with Robertson, has a crack at goal, slips as he did so, came off Casemiro, and just bends off the United midfielder. But even and then, out for a, a throw into Liverpool left hand side from Andy Robertson, edge of the box on an angle, just taking the shot when really the shot was the last thing he'd be taking. He should be looking for another team. And Liverpool there. haven't got to get dragged down to this no this chaos and mayhem football. The the United it was on side actually. Fernandez, yeah, Fernandez was on side because it's it's Liverpool's composure in these situations that sets them apart from everybody else. Yeah. They, they believe that they can get the required goals to win games, even if they are behind in matches, and they're not behind in this one. Their level, they should be away and over the hills and far away in terms of the, the three points. But United, extraordinary goal to get them back. Level at one apiece. Liverpool have got themselves... Throwing down by the corner quadrant on the left-hand side. The Liverpool fans making plenty of noise to try and well, roar their team on. Whether it's him who wants to come off or someone else. Liverpool about to introduce Curtis Jones, I think. A couple of substitutions look likely. Yeah, Joe Gomez and Curtis Jones and Marcus Rashford doesn't look too happy. So, Curtis Jones... He's going to come on. Who he's going to replace? Will it be for Wataro Endo to have maybe drop McAllister back in? Or possibly for Zobba's line? We wait to see. And Joe Gomez. Maybe just a question mark over Andy Robertson's fitness in terms of the fact that he's played 65 minutes of this one and United Dominic Zoboslai is the player to come off to be replaced by Curtis Jones and it's going to be Connor Bradley who's coming off to re be replaced by Joe Gomez so a concern well, there's a couple of dodgy ones there that you know that you don't think of. So Bosley was having an effect on the game. You were just wanting him to get to the edge of the box and, and get a strike. And he'd had them chances in the first half. And then I thought Conor Bradley's done really well down this right-hand side. Anthony coming on for Marcus Rashford, who looks as though he... He certainly was unhappy about something. Don't yeah, he's, he's got a pull though. It looked like a hamstring, didn't yeah. it? Rashford. That just means Garnacho comes over to this left hand side. Yeah, I think Garnacho actually right. favours the left, yeah. doesn't he? Because he. But Liverpool have got to regain control of this game, not just in terms of the use of the ball, but in the only measurement that really counts, the only true metric. It's the scoreboard, and it reads one each. 66 minutes and 18 seconds gone. Forward ball from United from Fernandez. Liverpool win it back, then United 
get it back. Casemiro with an overhead kick for Kobe Maynard. Kobe Maynard driving forward, central area. Out towards Alejandro Garnacho, edge of the penalty area. On his right foot, tucks it back out to the left to Juan Bissaka. Lovely turn. Oh, my goodness. Kobe Maynard with a right foot curler into the top corner. How extraordinary is football. A quite magnificent curling strike from Kobe Maynu. And Manchester United are 2-1 in front in a match that they were never in in the first half of this game. A dreadful mistake has got them dragged, kicking and streaming back into the match with Bruno Fernandes' goal. But a quite exquisite finish by Kobe Maynu with a lovely right foot shot curled it into the top corner beyond Kravine Kelleher I can't really believe it but it's true the scoreline is Manchester United 2 Liverpool 1 well, it's unbelievable how he gets that space in the first in the first instance when Casemiro just does a little overhead kick and he gets all the space in the middle and that's where it all starts from but then on the edge of the box there's three Liverpool players just watching him turn and get a shot away take nothing away from the finish it's brilliant and Keller had no chance, but it's really poor defending from Liverpool. It's really poor that they've allowed him to get into that position and nobody near him. Cody Gakpo's coming on. And so too is Harvey Elliott. Darwin Nunez and Endo come off. So two double substitutions. And Liverpool... All those baffling qualities that have been a feature of their season so far, they have to show it again. And they have to really make it count. Well, Mike, it's, they've shot themselves in the foot because they were so in control of the game. You couldn't see United laying a glove on them. And then suddenly, one really poor individual error gets United back in the game. And then there is, a, you know, you could say it's a bit of brilliance from Kobe Maynu, and it is, but the defending left a lot to be desired you know the closing down Liverpool in possession Virgil van Dijk Jarrell Kwanzaa Kwanzaa short ball to the right hand side to Joe Gomez who's just come off for Connor Bradley Kwanzaa turns it back to Kravine Kelleher Forward move by Virgil van Dijk takes the ball into United territory, but Liverpool go back and then Kwanzaa finds Elliott. Could be just Harvey Elliott's game, he's a bundle of energy player and he does... Well, they need to play forward, Mike, because yeah, and the he minutes does... are going backwards and backwards and backwards. They're finding it a lot more difficult to find it. United, can you believe, are much more compact in this second half they couldn't have been any more open than they were in the first half and that's what we said at the break that they couldn't play as bad again but Liverpool really have been the architects of their own downfall in terms of the goals that they've given away but they're coming forward now with Diaz being chased all the way by Anthony United win it back and then Diaz well the referee's given a free wow. kick for Diaz's challenge on Rasmus Hoyland and Rasmus Hoyland the only thing he wanted was to be fouled by Diaz but what actually there was more impact from the challenge from Hoyland on Diaz yeah I mean it was a ridiculous decision I just thought it was six or one half a dozen of the other free kick for Manchester United 15 yards short of halfway right hand side Harry Maguire out to Anthony well, Anthony. Anthony goes back to Aaron Wambasaka Wambasaka back for his goalkeeper, Andre Anar. Side steps Cody Gakpo. And United come forward with Dallow for Casemiro. Casemiro for Anthony. Back with Casemiro inside the centre circle. Wambasaka on the left hand side. Finds Anthony. Anthony's running at Joe Gomez. Anthony shoots. In fact, it's sorry, it's Garnacho who shoots rather. And it comes back off Joe Gomez. Garnacho receiving the ball on the left-hand side. Ran forward. 
shot goal which took a deflection Gomez took to his task but United have a corner and Harry Maguire comes forward Willy Camboala Casemiro's good in the air from set pieces corner for United on their left hand side Strefford end to be taken by Bruno Fernandes and it comes towards the edge of the six yard box Liverpool get the touch on it came off a United player last and it's behind for a goal kick going to be taken by Virgil van Dijk Kwanzaa goes back to his goalkeeper immediately out to Virgil van Dijk 72 minutes gone Liverpool trail 2-1 can't believe I'm saying that given how dominant they were in the first half Gomez and Jarrell Kwanzaa McAllister lovely forward ball there for Luis Diaz Willie Camboala stuck to his task got the better of Diaz and clears downfield but Liverpool win it back and they've got to try and build these relentless waves of yeah, attack because yeah. United are and making it more of an even game yeah but they need to move the ball quicker Mike and, and try and find more forward passes than they are doing at the moment Kwanzaa for Harvey Elliott infield to McAllister that is a good ball McAllister closed down by Casemiro Rasmus Hoyland running in towards the edge of the penalty area looking for support finds it in the shape of Garnacho. left foot shot straight at the goalkeeper at Liverpool Again, haphazard and allowing United to make the most of things. Good turn by Anthony on the far side. Gets away from the challenge. Forward ball is aimed for Diogo Dallo, who moved into an advanced area, but Quivin Kelleher was alert and able to dive at his feet and win back possession for Liverpool. Building from the back again with Kwanzaa. Mo Salah into the path of Joe Gomez oh, oh. the foot was high from Willy Cabrera I think he's going to get a yellow card there Jurgen Klopp is furious there was another incident on this near side in front of the Liverpool dugout earlier on that Jurgen Klopp wasn't happy with certainly not happy with that but Willy Camboala gets the yellow card and Liverpool have got themselves a free kick I don't think there was any malice intended it was just reckless but, but he, was, yeah. he wasn't in control was he? no he wasn't Liverpool in possession from the free kick Kwanzaa see this working the ball across the defensive lines isn't, isn't going to do it after 75 minutes well if it's, they, they don't, they, they don't, on, then play yeah. it uh, you, can, you can be patient but get it clear of your back line as soon as you can and uh, the quicker you do it the more chance you've got of opening United up see this here like getting the ball and going backwards with it first and this place to just get it on the half turn look forward Cody Gakpo links up with Curtis Jones running in towards the edge of the penalty forward to Harvey Elliott Elliott for Gakpo <laughs> lovely turn from Gakpo and then forward towards Elliott who's racing in behind the Man just United back line but there was, there was just too much on the pass from Gakpo and it's behind for a goal kick to Manchester United 15 minutes remain Liverpool trail by two goals to one what's he doing? what's he waiting for? Well, I mean surely he's Anana got a should be because he's just taking the mickey out of the referee he's just told him last chance Andre Anana wasting time Clears downfield. One in the air there by Kwanzaa, but lofted back for by Wamba Saka. Alejandro Garnacho's across. Virgil van Dijk deals with him and then just goes over his shoulder to find Joe Gomez. One two between Gomez and McAllister. It's Harvey Elliott. Nice ball across to Robertson. Ten yards from the edge of his own penalty area, but with the room to drive forward he's in the United half now he's midway inside the United half works it back to Diaz not seeing much of him of late Robertson's inside the penalty pulls it back might break for Diaz controls it towards the far post headed away there by Gwambasaka shot took a deflection from Joe Gomez 
I'd rather took the sting of it. I think the initial shot from Gomez was going wide, but took a deflection. And it was uh, came off Maguire, but took the power off it. And in the end, it was comfortably through to Anana. 76 and a half minutes gone. Liverpool trail 2-1. Craig Ignatz. Yeah, I mean, they still look capable, Liverpool, don't they? When they go forward, they still look capable, but they've just made too, too many poor decisions in that final third when they've opened United up. Liverpool get a free kick. Like a foul there on Jarrell Kwanzaa. Finds Gomez. So the thing about it is, it's not that Liverpool need a goal, they need two. Yeah. Joe Gomez racing down the right hand side. Juan Basaka is there, pulls it back to Salah. Might break for Harvey Elliott. Couldn't get enough on it, but Joe Gomez finds Salah. Salah edge of the box for Alexis McAllister. Curtis Jones. Robertson. Here's Diaz inside the penalty area. Plenty of Liverpool players to aim for. Diaz still in possession. Curtis Jones. Comes off a United player, Anthony out towards Diaz. Diaz goes back to Van Dijk. Van Dijk and Kwanzaa midway inside the United half. Right-hand side, Harvey Elliott. Checks onto his left foot. In comes the cross, headed away by Cambuala. Flicked further on down the field by Fernandes. Liverpool have it back. Harvey Elliott volleyed pass in field towards Virgil van Dijk. Liverpool captain picks out Curtis Jones on halfway. Wriggles away from Bruno Fernandes. Nice ball in field to McAllister. All of a sudden, Liverpool aren't finding a way through. No, they're not. United back in numbers, really compact. Harvey Elliott receives it from Kwanzaa. Gomez down towards the byline to get a cross in. Checks back onto his left foot. Picks out Elliott. Elliott with a lovely ball in towards Luis Diaz. Gets a header on it. United clear. But a driven shot. Oh, good save there. A Mo Salah. Puts it over from in front. Well, just on the edge of the six-yard box after a lovely shot there from Luis Diaz had been saved, diving to his left by Inanna. It broke for Salah, edge of the six-yard box. Couldn't get it on target. What a chance. That really was a big chance for an equaliser. Instead, it's a United goal kick. Yeah. Hammer back coming on for Garnacho. Well, that tells, tells you the tactic. They are. Yeah. They're just going to sit in now and make it difficult for Liverpool. It was a really good chance for Mo Salah. Once that ball had come back off Onana, he was at a bit of an angle, but you'd it's still a tight expect angle, him to but you'd expect him to get it on target yeah. at least, but it was card. high and it was wider than near post. Never managed to get his right foot around the ball to try and, I mean, he was obviously trying to divert it into the back of the net, but not able to do so, so Amrabat on for Garnacho. United goal kick taken eventually by Anana. The ball's run in the air there by Van Dyke, headed back forward by Maguire and out for a throw in. 79 and a half minutes gone. Manchester United lead by two goals to one. Throw in from Joe Gomez right hand side. McAllister touches it on to Mo Salah. Back with McAllister. <sighs> Gomez's ball is behind Cody Gakpo. United break, but then Jurel Kwanzaa wins it back. Driving forward, here's Cody Gakpo. Edge of the penalty, Diaz. The ball is beyond Diaz, and he has to do really well to race after it and keep it in play. Robertson on the left-hand side. Back with Curtis Jones. Here's Luis Diaz. Liverpool win a throw-in. On the left, back it goes to Van Dijk. Jarrell Kwanzaa and Gomez. On the right-hand side is Harvey Elliott, driven back by the presence of Wamba Saka. So Kwanzaa takes over again, slides a square ball into the path of Virgil van Dijk. The Liverpool captain, right-footed ball to the left-hand side. And it comes from Andy Robertson, but he's driven back. Liverpool get a free kick for the challenge there by Anthony. Van Dijk turns it back into the path of Jarrell Kwanzaa, whose awful mistake gave United the chance to get back into this game with the equaliser. Harvey Elliott down towards Joe Gomez. Good crossing from Gomez. Away by Casemiro. Might break for Salah to the penalty area. 
chested down by Casemiro. Ball to the left hand side for Fernandez. Good play by Quanta to get past him. He's away from Fernandez. Back here for Harvey Elliott into the path of Mo Salah. It's a penalty. That is a penalty. 100%. Harvey Elliott brought down by Aaron Wambasaka and Liverpool have a penalty. That is clear as day. A penalty kick. Lovely link up between Salah and Harvey Elliott. Elliott brought down by Wambasaka. Liverpool penalty and a big chance for Mo Salah to get Liverpool back on terms. And set, us, it, this, you know, Mike. and set us up for a grandstand finish, or maybe McAllister's yeah. going to take it. I mean, that's as clear a pen as you'll see all day long. Good play by Harvey Elliott, nice little one-two. Basaka had made his mind up, he was going to slide no matter what. He was a million miles away from the ball, brought Harvey Elliott down. Clear penalty. I don't know what they're all arguing for. Well, it's going to be looked at by VAR, but it's well, a penalty kick. Why? It's ridiculous. McAllister has the ball in his hands. Is he going to take it? I think he's going to give it to Mo Salah. Yeah. Well, I think initially taking the ball, I thought he was going to make sure no what? United players were going to scuff up the penalty spot. But it's Mo Salah versus... If ever there was a time Anana. to get this one straight, is now. Salah with a big task. Scoreboard end in front of the Liverpool fans, away to Mo Salah's right-hand side. Spots the ball down. Onana on his line, words of instruction from Anthony Taylor, Mo Salah re-spotted, his shirt billowing in the wind, the ball blowing away slightly as well, that can be off-putting, yeah, the ball twice has blown I mean, away. Just shows you how windy it is down there, Mike, doesn't it? Harry Maguire's complaining, Salah's happy that the ball is going to remain on the spot, back he steps to the edge of the penalty area, he's on the whitewash, hands on hips, Mo Salah, to draw Liverpool level at Old Trafford, it's the familiar bending run, scores for Liverpool, sends Andre Adana the wrong way, Liverpool back on terms, he signals to the fans who were in jubilant mood after that equalising goal, Mo Salah with another goal for Liverpool and another goal against Manchester United, it's 19 for, sorry it's 23 for Mo Salah, in all, 17 in the league, and it's his 14 in 15 matches against Manchester United. Manchester United 2, Liverpool 2. Yeah, Kobe Mainu coming off, Mason Mount coming on. Good character, wasn't it, from Mo Salah? He's missed some chances today, but still wanted to step up and take the penalty. Sent Onana the wrong way. Really good penalty. Yeah, it's not been his day. He's hardly had anything in and around goal in the second half. In the first half, he could have had a hat-trick. Robertson for Liverpool. Can, mean, Liverpool this to United? can Liverpool dig it out? Will he go back into the shell? 84 and a half minutes. Well, that's the best thing for, 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 from a Liverpool point of view, is United to just sit back. Mm. Because Liverpool have got the potential to punish them. McAllister finds Kwanzaa. Virgil van Dijk forward ball for Robertson who's in space left hand side Mo Salah making a run Harvey Elliott at the far post in comes the cross comes off Wampasaka cleared by Anthony only as far as Diaz Liverpool with Curtis Jones turned into trouble Liverpool win it back there with McAllister and back to the goalkeeper it goes give us a call on the football phone in 0800 731 9333 you can text 81333, put the word Mersey before your message, or WhatsApp us 08000321333. Again, put the word Mersey before your message. WhatsApps and standard texts are charged at your normal rate. Liverpool 2. Manchester United have got that extraordinary lead, but Liverpool back on terms at two apiece. Extraordinary because Liverpool are so dominant in the first half. And ball's gone out of play. Down by the byline as Luis Diaz chased after it. I didn't think that was a goal kick, by the way. He's given a goal kick. I, I think it was, was uh, Diogo Dallo had chased after Luis Diaz. And he got the challenge in. But uh, a couple of players down there. Diaz... I thought it done enough to win the 
to win the corner. Yeah. We weren't as close to the referee as it to see where precisely the ball was hit from. He can't believe it, Luis Diaz. He can't believe he hasn't got a corner. 2-2 at Old Trafford. Megan Klopp's gone absolutely berserk, can't he tell you that? Well, there's got to be plenty of time to add on. I mean, with the time wasting from United, particularly from the goalkeeper, and in that situation again. He's already had a yellow card, Mike, so he's, he is running a tight wall. Harry Maguire puts the ball out of play under pressure from Cody Gakpo. Joe Gomez with the throw for Liverpool. Midway inside the United half almost. Throws it forward for Luis Diaz. I mean, that's a foul, look at that. Diaz being held by Maguire. Why, that's a free, that kick. a free kick. That's You've a... got an assistant looking at it. Now, the referee's got a great view. It, it's The it's assistant's just... two yards away, Mike. They've just allowed the game. There's been an element of lawlessness mm. to the match where the referee is, has almost let everything go. Liverpool in possession. Harvey Elliott on the right-hand side, finds Salah. Poor ball picked out by Amrabat. But he does the same thing and gives it away to Liverpool. Oh, there's a foul. He's not hit it. United on the break with Hoyland. Turns into trouble. Oh, then Amrabat's brought down by Curtis Jones, and he's going to get a yellow card. Sure. But Curtis Jones... I don't think he saw... Well, right, he's Amrabat's to stop getting him, away from it. Yeah, there's been a couple there. Free kick for Manchester United inside the centre circle. Going to be taken by Bruno Fernandes. Liverpool have got to get a goal from somewhere. Fernandez with the free kick in towards Harry Maguire, headed away by Gomez, headed back out to the left-hand side by Cambuala, headed on by Maguire. No United player anywhere near it. Concert sky clearance, rather. But uh, Cody Gakpo takes control of the situation and finds Harvey Elliott. Fall for Mo Salah. Mo Salah trying to wriggle away from the challenge, but Bruno Fernandez did well to whip it off his toes and go back to his goalkeeper, long clearance downfield. We're into the final minute of the 90. Manchester United 2, Liverpool 2. Joe Gomez receives it from Kwanzaa. Right-hand side, Harvey Elliott, who did really well to win the penalty for Liverpool. Back with Kwanzaa. Jarrell Kwanzaa. Goes back for his goalkeeper, Quivin Kelleher, who actually is midway inside the Liverpool half, out to the left-hand side. Andy Robertson. Robertson finds Diaz. Diaz turns, and it's a chance to run towards goal. Ball out towards the right-hand side. Elliot does well to control it. Running it towards the edge of the penalty area now. Joe Gomez pulls it back. Might break. A chance for Liverpool, maybe. Just, just wouldn't break for Salah. Poor clearance from United. Robertson. In comes the cross, and volley behind for... A Liverpool corner, United taking no chances. Now, what's going to be added on? Should be six at least, shouldn't it? Seven. Seven minutes to add on. Liverpool have got to get a goal from somewhere. 2-2 at Old Trafford. Corner on the Liverpool right-hand side. Andy Robertson created the first goal with a corner from the right. Hopefully this left foot delivery can pick out Virgil van Dijk or another one of the Liverpool players in it comes towards the edge of the six yard box it's across the oh. six yard box, the referee gives a free kick, Harry Maguire sat on his backside and it looks as though the referee's bought that 73,528 the attendance we to stop its time we've had a minute of it and he's wasting time oh, again, Anana. Hey, if you've been booked, it doesn't give you an extra license. No, it doesn't. Liverpool headed forward from the long clearance. Salah for Harvey Elliott. United clear. Elliott knocks it back in. And Harry Maguire clears downfield. 
Liverpool put it out, but a throw into United left hand side. Harry Maguire's down. I think he might have got a slight knock in the challenge there with Salah. But uh, he's going to be taking his time as well. What can Liverpool come up with? And where's he going with the throwing? Yeah, the throwing should be 20 yards further back. Wambasaka throws it to Fernandez. And a cushion headed pass back from Fernandez to Wambasaka. Wins a throw in the challenge from Gakpo, puts it out of play for a throw into United. Wambasaka taking his time. The running down the clock at every available opportunity, United. In comes the throw to Garnacho. Finds Bruno Fernandez. Little back heel for Garnacho. Dispossessed by Joe Gomez, did really well, but United win it back with Wambasaka. Cody Gakpo Brilliant. turns away. Good play from Gakpo. Oh. It's brought down there by Mason Mount. Not a substitute, and Mason Mount gets uh, a yellow card, yellow card for his troubles. He just couldn't find a pass, could he? Harvey Elliott was in down his right-hand side. Just wasn't opening up for him, was I it? I don't know why he didn't play it after the second touch or the first touch he had. Forward it comes towards Harvey Elliott. Breaks off Mason Mount, takes the sting off it. United clear, but only as far as McAllister. McAllister rolls it back to Virgil van Dijk on the cusp of the centre circle inside the United half. Delivers a pass out to Andy Robertson. Robertson back to van Dijk. We've had almost three minutes of the seven. 2-2 at Old Trafford. Here comes Kwanzaa for Liverpool. Nice ball for Harvey Elliott. Onto his left foot. That's a good cross towards the far post for Robertson. Heads it back across the face of goal. And Tiansel! Oh, over the top there. Went really well positioned from Luis Diaz. Well, Anthony gets a yellow card there. Trying and to pawn the big. ref out of a foul. Didn't have any of it, Anthony Taylor. But it's an unbelievable chance. Really for Diaz. good chance for Diaz. Smacked it over. And Anthony being told by Sofi and Amrabat, don't be trying to pull these kind of tricks. And Anthony's yellow card, it was a good header back there from Robertson. And as the ball should dropped, score. just caught it and hit it over the bar. He should score. It's a really good position, he was only six yards out. He's on the stretch a little bit, the ball's He's just on the right, on his right foot. There, but it was a glorious think, opportunity, yeah. but now we've had four of the seven. Switch. Van Dijk switching oh, he's it. pass there from Kwanzaa. It's collected by Dallow, edge of the penalty area. United on the counter, touched into the path of United to come forward with Anthony. Bruno Fernandes tried to thread it through the legs of Joe Gomez. And Liverpool stood firm and managed to win the ball back. Harvey Elliott's crossfield ball finds Robertson. Robertson looking for options. Picks one short in the shape of Curtis Jones. I mean, you'd think Liverpool were winning the way Curtis Jones has just it's, stood on the ball. It's got to come forward quicker, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Jarrell Kwanzaa for Harvey Elliott. Harvey Elliott, 20 yards inside the United half. They go back for Kwanzaa. McAllister driven back. With a pass from just inside the United half, back for Kelleher, 20 yards outside his goal. Chips it forward. Harry Maguire heads it away. McAllister heads it down. Nice turn by Curtis Jones. It's a foul on Curtis Jones. Liverpool free kick. Taken by Van Dyke. Gomez. Threads it through. Oh. It's overhit. Badly overhit by Gomez. And we're down to the final 90 seconds of added time. 2-2 at Old Trafford. Long ball forward. Chested down. And Liverpool get it up inside the United half, but then Maguire heads it out. Liverpool throw in. Jurgen Klopp furiously appealing to his players to make the most of what they can in these final moments of the game. Mo Salah brought down. Was he play on since the referee? Sofi and Amrabat, forward ball. Thread it through towards Anthony. Anthony edge of the penalty, shoots straight to the goalkeeper. But United penetrating that Liverpool defence. 
inside the final minute of the seven. Hopefully there'll oh. be more to add on. And now Curtis Jones, Jones caught in possession. Mike. He He's has since he came on. been absolutely miles off it. Anthony's ball to the right-hand side to Amrabat. Liverpool win it back with Gakpo, who has actually done well since he's come on. Luis Diaz escapes the attentions of Dallo. Luis Diaz running it towards the edge of the penalty. Diaz has still got it. Salah's inside the box. That's a foul, isn't it? Free kick for Liverpool. Casemiro brings down Diaz. And this could be the last chance of the game. It's a yellow card for Casemiro. The yellows are stacking up for United. Virgil van Dijk will come forward. Jarel Kwanzaa will come forward. Cody Gakpo got that fantastic header in midweek against Sheffield United. Free kick to be taken. It's about eight yards outside the penalty area. It's almost in line with the left angle of the penalty area as United, as Liverpool attack it, the right edge of the United box going to be taken by McAllister it, in fact Andy Robertson swings it in turn it away driven shot Elliot caught that really well but straight to the goalkeeper and there goes the final whistle it's two points drop for Liverpool Harvey Elliott sinks to his knees Luis Diaz beats the ground in frustration Alexis McAllister is down on his haunches. The Liverpool players cannot really believe that they failed to win this game. How expensive could these two drop points be at Old Trafford? They absolutely pulverised Manchester United in the first half in terms of their domination of the game. 15 shots they had, four of them on target. Some great saves by Andre Anana. Liverpool won lots and lots of corners, but only that one goal to show from a corner right-hand side. Robertson curled it in, headed down by Darwin Nunez and converted by Luis Diaz. Fabulous reactions. Somehow it was only 1-0 at the break. Mo Salah could have had a hat-trick. Dominic Zoboslai could have had two or three. Luis Diaz had chances blocked. But 1-0 it was at the break and then... An absolutely extraordinary mistake from Liverpool. Four and a half minutes into the second half, Jarrell Quonset squared a pass. It was aimed for a teammate, but they only found Bruno Fernandes inside the centre circle. Quivine Kelleher was out of his goal. Fernandes spotted that and hit a long shot downfield that eluded Kelleher and into the back of the net. That, that was. One goal each. Liverpool came forward and had some good moments themselves. But uh, extraordinarily, midway through the second half, Kobe Maynard was able to advance goalwards after a Casemiro overhead kick inside the centre circle. Picked out a teammate towards the edge of the penalty area and then found space inside the box when the ball was delivered back to him. He curled an extraordinary right foot shot into the top corner and beyond Quivine Kelleher to put United 2-1 in front. Liverpool, thankfully, did manage to get at least a goal back from the penalty spot after substitute Harvey Elliott had been brought down by Aaron Wambasaka. A confident penalty converted by Mo Salah for 2-2. And a great chance in added time after a cross ball was headed back across the six-yard box by Andy Robertson edge of the six-yard box it fell to Luis Diaz but right-footed it skied it over the top and it ended up all square Manchester United to Liverpool two, and these are two drop points that could prove to be very very costly Craig massive Higgins. massive loss drop points I've just seen the stats there it was Liverpool had 62% possession, their expected goals was 3.8. And now they've only come out of it with two goals. But they've only got themselves to blame, Mike. I mean, it was a shock and error that got United. United were dead. United were done for. And then it was a really poor error. I mean, and listen, Gerald Quantz is a young player and he'll learn from it. And he's been excellent at the start of his Liverpool career. But that was so sloppy from him at such an important time. 
uh, Fernandez. It was a great finish, you know, it still needed finishing. Got them back into it and give them a lift, give the crowd a lift. It was such a, a body blow because Liverpool were so dominant up to then. And then the game ebbed and flowed, you know, Liverpool had chances, got in time and time again. But like the FA Cup game a little bit, Mike, they were so wasteful. They were so on top and so dominant and got into so many good positions, but were really wasteful, whether that was the de decision-making or with the finishing. They had countless number of, of really good chances and, and failed to hit the target on, on a number of them. And that's what's cost them today. You know, the, the defending for the second goal, that, that was poor. It really was poor. Uh, Curtis Jones, you know, come on. He's, he's been out a long time. Looked looked a little bit off it. Kept getting robbed with the ball. There, it was. I think it was him and, and McAllister. And was plus, he was taking away. the pace out of the game, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he, he really went. Cobby Main, who's got the ball in the box. The first thing you do is you close him down. You don't let him turn. But to let him turn and get a shot away with his right foot, it was a brilliant finish. But to let him do it in the first place was criminal. And then they kept going, Liverpool, and that's the character of them. They kept going and kept going. Lovely little bit of play down the right with Harvey Elliott, and he was brought down. It was a definite penalty by Wamba Saka, and Mo stepped up coolly and, and put it in the back of the net. So the game finished 2 2, but you, you sort of wonder to yourself, how? How's that finished 2 2? Yeah, for a game that Liverpool dominated for all of that first half and then gifted United that goal to get back into the game. United went 2-1 in front, Liverpool back with that penalty from Mo Salah, but I'm afraid it is a disappointing day when you only get a point when you need three from every game from a Liverpool point of view, but it's just one of those twists and turns that are going to happen in this race for the title. And uh, Liverpool just have to make sure that as far as the rest of the season is concerned, that they keep on winning the games. It's uh, Arsenal who are top of the table on 71 points from 31 games. Liverpool 71 points from 31 games also, but Arsenal have a superior goal difference. It's nine goals superior than Manchester City third on 70 points. It's all ridiculously tight. And as I say, more twists and turns to come. Plus your, your phone calls. 0800-731-9333 the number to ring Craig Ignit here at Old Trafford to take your calls Ian Kennedy in the studio as well let us know your thoughts on a day of disappointment but Liverpool still in there fighting they're not giving up hope and why would they? they're level on points with the league leaders final score at Old Trafford then Manchester United 2 Liverpool 2 the football phone in 0800 731 9333. BBC Radio Merseyside. Thanks to Mike Hughes. Uh, Craig Hignett still at uh, Old Trafford. Uh, one text already in saying Liverpool always pour in front of goal despite all the chances as usual. Uh, obviously made to pay in the end after such dominance in that first half. 2 2 the final score. But as Mike Hughes was saying there, seven games left. Arsenal played 31. Point seventy one. Liverpool played thirty one point seventy one. Man City played thirty one point seventy. It's so tight, Craig, isn't it? Let's go to Franny in Kirby, who's our first caller. Hi, Franny. Hi, there, hi Craig. Is okay? Hello, Franny. Yeah, oh, well, sort of. No, look, listening to your, com your commentary there, um, the amount of chances we're having in some of these games, and we're just not collecting on them. Mm. It's getting to be a bit farcical now, and I think that's what's cost us today because we could have been five, six, six up in the first half, easy. Really, really easy. So, uh, <clears throat> I think, uh, the, the, never mind Bottle and Fowler's boots, Rush's boots, and Aldo's boots need to come out of the closet and get, tell them to get them on again on the traffic field. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 you're right, Franny. The, the chances and, and the situations they get themselves in time and time again, they yeah. really should be scoring more than two. You know, this yeah, is a game here. Now you look at it, the expected goals was 3.8 or something, so... Yeah, the stats I mean, are, yeah. I mean, even if you look at Diaz's chance at the end, you know, when he's in, he's stretching for it a little bit, but you would expect him to at least <laughs> yeah. hit the target. But, listen, I think the turning point was the, the mistake by Kwanzaa, wasn't it, and the finish yeah. by Fernandez. That, that just turned the game on its head because I felt that up until then, United were ready to go, roll over. They, yeah, they were ready yeah. to go. Liverpool had them on the rack again. But just you've got to finish teams off when you've got them on the rack. You've got well, to finish them off. You've got to put them to the sword, lad, haven't you? you yeah. Otherwise, they come back and bite you in the derriere. 
Yeah, and really? that's what they've done. We, we said they yeah. had a bit of quality, and we know United have got a bit of quality. And by the way, Colby Maynou is, is ridiculous for, for the ages. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> but they, listen, if you, if you stand off anyone with quality, yeah. they can hurt you. And that's what Liverpool did. I, I just, I was so disappointed with the manner, because they didn't look like scoring United. They had no shots in the first half. And, and they didn't really look like it in the second half. They looked like they were just waiting to concede another and yeah. then collapse. But to well, give them the goal the way they did, it was... Well, if you watched in the second half, Craig, uh, McAllister got tackled by um, 50 pence, he said. You know, um, if he got mixed up, Ari... Ari oh, what's his name? I was going to say Harry Styles there. Harry Maguire. <laughs> Harry Maguire. <laughs> you, well, you said Harry Kane before, didn't I you? I said Harry Kane, yeah. <laughs> I did. The thing was as well, though, um, even a 2-1 for United, Craig, and even at 2-2, Liverpool still had more chances to win the game. Yeah, they did, Ian. They, they were so wasteful. I mean, you were here with me with the FA Cup game. It, it was like the and, same game, Craig, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, and at times it was embarrassing how, how much better Liverpool were than United. But they didn't put them away. They didn't finish their chances. They created plenty. They got in some great positions and, and through bad choice or bad finishing, didn't end up scoring more goals. I mean... It was it was almost a carbon copy of that game, except Liverpool managed to get themselves back in it and and got a draw out of it. And you know whether the draw will be enough at the end of the season, we'll have to wait and see. But I, listen, I think you know it might prove to be plenty. a decent point. It, it might do. <laughs> it might do. Yeah. Whilst we're sitting here being frustrated because we've seen the manner of the draw, do you know the manner of the draw wasn't. Sometimes you get a draw and you think that's a good point. Now this one yeah. wasn't. This one was two points thrown away. Franny, thanks for your call. 0800-731-9333. Uh, Brian in Ormskirk says, you reap what you sow. We simply didn't take the chances we created and you're always vulnerable at the back. I'm more frustrated that we've lost four points against United this season mm. and that's going to uh, prove costly. That said, I don't think the league is lost, uh, but it could all be uh, one with better finishing. Uh, Brian in Ormskirk. Let's go to, uh, to Tony, who's on the line. Evening, Tony. Good afternoon, lads. Hope you're well. Hi, Hi Tony. Tony. Yeah, um, I think obviously we're still in it, but uh, our finishing is absolutely killing us now. Um, I think you know we're also we're not we're not finishing off games against the uh, top four, uh, against the head, or even the top six. Really, I know we're not losing many games, but there's there's games there that we've drawn that we should have put to bed. You just can't miss that many chances. You can't. No, and you can't give away the. I mean, the second goal. I think whilst it's a brilliant finish, Tony. There's plenty you can do differently to that. You know, for a start, you can close him down because you've got plenty at the back. You can go and close him down on the halfway line so he doesn't get it and get turned. And then the second one, when he gets it in the box, you can stop him from getting a touch with his back to goal and turning and getting a shot away. Let's take nothing away from the kid. The quality is brilliant. It's a brilliant goal. But he should never be able to get, not in that tight space, a shot away. And the first no. one, you, you can't legislate for the first one. That's an individual error. It's it's an obvious one, you know, but it's, it still needs finishing from Fernandez. It was a good finish, but they've killed themselves today. The, the amount of chances they've made, and I've just said it there, it was it was similar to the cup game. The dominance yeah, was there. You yeah. could see who the best team was, couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. I thought it was the same in the midfield area, Craig. You know, when Man United were breaking in, uh, you know, two or three weeks back, you could see Liverpool had the chance to just take a yellow card, bring a player down, didn't do it. Not, not professional, you know, just not getting it done. Um, I think there was a bit of complacency crept into that game. Today, I mean, I'm not going to criticise Quanzer. He's been superb for us. He's made a mistake. You know, he doesn't make many, let's be honest about that. But, you know, Salah has been, he's, he's been, he's been abysmal since he came back. OK, he's nicking the odd goal and that, but he's, he's on the periphery of games in most of the time. Um He's he's really been disappointing. I know I know he had that, that injury and that you know layoff because of the uh, the Afcon early in the new year and all that. But he, he's just he's he's really not in the games at all, and he can't sort his feet out. I, I don't I don't know I don't know. Um, I just don't see us taking half chances, Craig. I think we need too many really good chances to score a couple of goals, um, and I think now it's getting really tight. You've got to take the half chances. I, I, the only option. The only hope, I should say, we've got is Jota. Mm. Can we get Jota back now? Is he ready to rejoin training this week? Because if he's not, there's no one there who's a sniffer. You, you know, you, you get one chance in a game, Jota, and he'll score, and then you won't see him for the rest of the game. But you know he'll put it away. You can't say that about the others. 
You can't. I mean, no, they're all, they're all contributing, scoring goals and creating goals. But in the big, big games, as we've seen this season, you know, no one's been the poacher who's been there to put it away. And that's, no. that's what we're lacking. That's what I, we're lacking. I would agree with you, Tony. I, I think whilst we... It's not, they're really good. Liverpool are a top, top side. But I oh, think... Yeah. And, and, and by the way, the front three are all scoring. You know, it's not like they're not scoring, but like you say, it's the amount of chances that they make. They should be scoring twice as many goals as they are. You know, you look at what Arsenal have done. Arsenal have got nine goals ahead now. And you think of... Yeah, but if you think of the chances... I bet you Liverpool have made more chances than Arsenal over the season. Without a shadow of a doubt. Liverpool seem to be snatching at things. So they seem in a rush to put the ball away, you know, or they make the wrong decision when that final pass needs to be made. It's the wrong one that they pick out. And I, like you, I, when Jota plays, he's got something a bit different. He's, he's a little bit cuter than the others. He's got all kinds of different finishes. He will shift his body and lift it over the keeper. He'll shift his body and go round the keeper. He'll poke one in. He's just got a... I think he's just cl more clinical than the others. And mm. I, I think you're right. I think we could, you know, we, we may very well look back at the end of the season and think, you know, if only we had someone to score three or four of them chances that we made in the, in the games that matter. Question to you both now is, I, I mean, we were saying this almost bef well, before this game, is it uh, Liverpool must win every single game now, do you think? I mean, City are there, aren't they? Only a point behind. I mean, Liverpool are right there, you know, joint top in a way. Behind only on goal difference, seven games is a lot of games, isn't it? It's 21 points. I think, Ian, I think, I think it's easier saying you've got to win seven games. Winning seven games is not, it's not easy at all. And they may not have to. Exactly. That's, what, that's why I said at the beginning, uh, I think like Franny said, we're still in this. We're still in this, but we're making it hard for ourselves. But, you know, I don't think anyone's going to win all seven. There's going to be a couple of draws here and there. And we only we will only know if we win the league at the end of the season. Then we might say this was a good point. But it's in in terms of our, our you know chance uh, in conversion ratio at the moment in, in in recent games it's got to be quite poor because we should be absolutely annihilating teams the way the, the chances that we create. But we know that you know we're just not going to take them. But fingers crossed. My big over. I think Jota might just be able to squeak back into in some sort of training this week maybe the back end of the week and then you don't know I mean is he going to pick it up straight away but he knows where to be doesn't he he only has to be around the penalty box yeah. between the white sticks and you know he, he will get the scruffy goals that our players aren't doing you know we, we're putting our laces through the ball sometimes when we've just got to put a nice little cheeky finish in there you know and that's what Jota will do he will put that cheeky finish in there and he won't lace it he'll just side foot it into a corner now mm. can we get him back I don't know but I think right now we really are sad. we're missing him now and you can see it and I think teams know that we're missing too many chances because he's not there if he's there teams will be a bit more concerned so we're still well in it but we're making it very very hard for ourselves very hard I think when you look at what how Manchester City finished the season you know the last couple of seasons they've got on a run where they've just been unbelievable and, and hardly dropped any points in a running they're not playing so, well now though no, no they're, they're not, not but, well now. but Tony you've got to score at least three yeah. to beat them you are. Do you know? Because they, they, even when they're not playing well, they might concede goals. He's conceded two against Palace yesterday, but scored four. And and that's the type of team they are. Even though I think that they're open at times and they're not as as solid as they were. It's you just look at the front men. You look at what De Bruyne can do to you. You look at what Haaland can do to you. They they don't they don't need four and five chances to put the ball in the back of the net. Just looking at the fixtures, guys. Um, and and I know it's all about the next game. That's always been the way. But there's a crucial period coming up, isn't there? Because they've got a home game against Crystal Palace next Sunday and then three successive away games, mm. Fulham, Everton and West Ham. And that is going to be crucial, isn't it? To have three away games in a row, Tony, is not ideal in a situation like this. Absolutely not. I mean, honestly, it's, it's like you know, trying to win the league this season particularly... It's like trying to climb Everest, isn't it? It really is. It's, it's not easy. I mean, we just keep saying... You've only, you know, the last ten games last night. You've got to win all of them. It's just football isn't like that. It really isn't. And I don't think Liverpool are as good as we were at our pump uh, when we were going up against City uh, two, three years back. And I don't think City are quite as good as that either. So that that's the one uh, positive for me. But Arsenal for me are the big, big threat because they're clinical. 
Now, they, they are in a bit of a routine where they're just getting the job done. Not much fuss about it. And, the, you know... And not like conceding goals well. either, are they? Exactly. They're not conceding goals. Whereas Liverpool and Man City, they do give it a squeak of a chance by the way we play. Mm. So, for me, Arsenal look to be in... I would say at the moment, Arsenal are in pole position. But we are definitely in it. But... Um, We've got to find our shooting boots from somewhere. Uh, um, Craig, you're, you're the, you're the ex-striker and you're the ex-coach. Do you just get these players and just doing one-on-ones all the time? Now, don't worry about team play, just one-on-ones for the strikers. Do you know what, Tony? Sometimes the more you do it, the more they think about it and the worse it gets. And it, it's, a, it's a weird one, you know, when you... If you make a point of something, then it can get in people's heads. It depends on, on the obviously, the person and, and their personalities. I'm, I'm sure some of them will benefit from it but there's others who won't because they'll think hang on a minute you think I've got a problem here and then next time they get through they're thinking about it and it, yeah. it can be sometimes it can be worse but it's I, like I telling them they feel tired and they start feeling yeah, tired yeah it's, it's like you know when it, when you score a goal you, you expect a, especially as a striker you think you know the next time you get a chance you don't even think about what you're going to do with it you just do it and that's what you want them in that's the, the frame of mind you want them in you don't want them thinking about it you want them just doing it but it's, that's easier said than done and, and to do that you need to be confident but if you've missed chance after chance then it's a difficult thing to do you know there's very few yeah. strikers there who, it doesn't matter you know if, if if Mo misses a chance you can see it plays on him you know he gets he gets angry with it I mean he you see the one he missed on, you know, yeah he, he missed you'd see the one he missed at that far post after Anana had palmed it out you know he, he really should have scored it um, but he still gets in there he doesn't stop making the runs but he does Absolutely, think about yeah. them because he gets angry about it. But I, 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 I just think they've got the the personnel to win it. There's no doubt about it. They're still in it. This game hasn't took them out of the race at all. It's just no way, made no, it no. a little. It's just took. It's just made it a little bit more difficult for them. I still think they'll go really, really close. Do, do you I, think I, I actually think go to the last game, Craig and, to, and Tony? Do you think actually sometimes when you're in a, a race like this with games running out, if you uh, if if you're Arsenal now, almost there's a bit of pressure, extra pressure in a way, because you're the team at the top, mm. you're there to be chased. Can there be something in in just sneaking up at the last the last minute? Obviously, I mean you want to be ten points clear, obviously, but there's something about the pressure that Arsenal are going to face now. Or, have, or, or do you think that they are facing it and look look uh, ominous? Well, I think last season they learnt a lot of lessons because you know they were clear and you know really they were in a great position and blew it. And I, I think you've, you've got to go to the well. I think once or twice at least before you actually get in there and get over the line. And I, I think Arsenal they, they look confident to me. They really do. I don't see any weaknesses at all. Well, if they do lose a game unexpectedly how will they react we know how we will but, you know we won't we won't stop we will just keep going on going and going and nick a goal or win a game or get a draw when we should maybe should be losing a game we know we can do that they, I'm not sure that they will if they lose a game now but at the moment they're, they're in poor position for me they're the most accomplished team in the, in the country at the moment but we're still in it and, but you know, it's a simple example it's, it's going to be hard I mean it was already hard wasn't it with yeah. all the injuries they've think... done so 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 well I, I, I think with with the the less games comes more pressure. So when it when it's getting to five games, four games, I think the pressure becomes more, especially on Arsenal. I think Arsenal more than any of the the others. I I think if they put a, a dodgy performance in, I think it'll affect them. I, I don't think Arsenal can play poorly and win. win. Yeah, mm. I, I think that's for me that would be their Achilles heel. I, I, I haven't seen them play poorly too many times, if I'm honest. You know, they, they, like you say, they've got in a, a rhythm where they're just solid and they just look solid. But well, can they play poorly and win games? I'm, well, I'm not so sure. And will, how will he take setbacks coming into the running? And the running does funny things to people. Well, their next game, Craig, is Aston Villa in the mm. league. Arsenal against Aston Villa. That's next Sunday when Liverpool play Palace. And in the meantime, City could go top because they're home to Luton. And obviously, you know, no disrespect to Luton, home game for Man City... You, you would expect them to win that game. Yeah, it could change hands three times next week, couldn't it? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Luton, I, I, I think Luton are on a hide to nothing. I think Manchester City win that one comfortably. The Villa Arsenal one is is a tough one, but I think Arsenal at home, uh, you know, I, I, they've got to be favourites, surely. But, like you say, it's not beyond Villa to go and get a point out of that game. And then it's up to, you know, Liverpool. You'd expect Liverpool to win on Sunday. Um, 
but you'd, you'd say that about all the games. You know, you could predict all the games and say, oh, I think they should win that and they should. But it never, it never turns out like that. There's always one team or one result that catches you by surprise. And by the way, Chelsea. Don't know which one? Chelsea are leading at Sheffield United by a goal to nil in the 5.30 kickoff. Thiago Silva uh, scored that one. Uh, Tony, uh, just finally from from you, um, still positive about the outcome. I mean, there's the Europa League as well as the, uh, the the league title as well. What do you what do you what's your gut feeling at the moment as things stand? Well, I think with the players coming back, this is a bonus, and we know that most of our players will be back in the next week or ten days now. Um, so. It, Arsenal, have, you know, I think they're getting away with a lot of injuries as well. You never know if they get a few injuries, it's possible. The Villa game, you know, Unai Emery, if anyone knows how to dig out a result, it's him. He, and he's going back to his own place as well, where he didn't exactly pull up threes, which wasn't really his fault. Got to the you know, Europa League final with Arsenal. Didn't get it over the line. So he'll be looking to maybe, uh, you know, get a result there. Um, Man City. Like Craig said, they've got quality up front, but I think they give it a lot of chances. So I think we're definitely in it. I'd rather be Arsenal right now, uh, but that can change on, a, on, a, on the, you know, a spin of a coin. Um, so yeah, definitely still in it. We, we can definitely win it, but you've got to take our chances, and we're not doing that now. That's our problem. All right. Um... Tony, thanks as ever for your call. Um, Cheers, Tony. Still pretty noisy there at Old Trafford, uh, Craig. Yeah, the fans are still in. They haven't let them out yet. So they're all there, they're all still singing. They seem in good spirits. You know, I'm sure they'll all be disappointed, but like I say, it's not um, it's not the end of the world, a draw. Uh, David Crosby says, uh, that's it for the league. Once again, United were there for the taking. A carbon copy of the cup match. In the end, we were fortunate to get a point. I suppose a 2-1 down, you, you take a point, but as I said earlier, there were still chances to win the game. Yeah. A 2-2, wasn't it? I don't, I don't think they were fortunate to get a point. I think a point was the least they deserved, but the way they, they managed to throw away the win, the three points, that that's the talking point rather than, you know, the, they were fortunate to get a point. I don't think they were. I think they were far superior to United and had plenty of chances to win the game comfortably. Jurgen Klopp made substitutions uh, late on. Harvey Elliott came on. Cody Gakpo, for example. I mean, it's, there's, there's a full week now for for Liverpool. Oh, no, there's the Atalanta game, of course, yeah, isn't there? So, what will he what will he think for that for selection? Given the the importance of the league games as well. Yeah, well, listen, I'm sure he'll he'll shuffle the pack again. You know, he'll, he'll play people. I think he'll change the team. Um, you know, he was hit and miss today with the subs. Harvey Elliott obviously come on and, and won the penalty. Curtis Jones come on, didn't look up to it. You know, he looked a yard off, kept getting caught with the ball. Um, and, they, and they did, they got worse when, when the substitutions were made. But, listen, they still showed enough quality to, to be able to cut through United and make chances still. And just didn't take them, which is the story of the game for me. And the story of the game is how Liverpool missed chance after chance. Yeah, that, just a final word on the Atalanta game, because, you know, any Italian opposition is has got to be respected and when you're home first as well I just wonder how, how you're feeling about the uh, that tie well I'd, he could do two ways couldn't he he could go into it and play a really strong side and, and get a good lead going over there and, and maybe rest a few with the travelling or he changes the side and hopes for a win anyway to take over there and, and just takes the full squad over there as well I think it's a big game for Liverpool I don't think you'll want to you know you'll want to make too many changes I think you'll want to go through and obviously they want to win the competition um, so it'll be interesting to see what he does in the first leg he could, he could do two things he could change the whole team or he could play a strongest side and see if he can build a lead Craig I, th- I think we'll be glad to see the back of Old Trafford eh, this season yeah, you're not wrong Ian you're not <laughs> wrong I mean it's, I'm sat in exactly the same position that me and you were in um, with the cup game and felt uh, exactly the same way about it even though that one ended in a defeat you know I still feel as though we've thrown away a really good opportunity here to, to put them to the sword mm. Craig, we'll speak to you soon. Have a safe trip home. Thanks very much. Cheers, Ian. Thank you. There we are. Craig Ignat, who was alongside Mike Hughes. We're just about out of time. Doton Adebayo is on the way after the news at six o'clock. Just a reminder of the uh, the other score lines. uh, Well, at the moment, Sheffield United nil, Chelsea one. Thiago Silva with that goal. That was a five thirty kickoff there at uh, Bramall Lane. So Chelsea with their noses in front there, and still.
still to come. Uh, Tottenham against Nottingham Forest. That is a six o'clock uh, kickoff there in Scotland. It finished Rangers three, Celtic three earlier on. Uh, Warrington Wolves six, St Helens fifty eight in the Women's Challenge Cup, and a win for Witness twenty four six in the Championship against Dewsbury. My thanks to uh, to Chris Coughlin. Uh, we'll leave you with the highlights. Frustrating day at Old Trafford. Liverpool managed to win back possession on halfway, but United have it back. Bruno Fernandes, 4-4 for Garnacho. Garnacho in on goal. He's round the goalkeeper. He scores for United, but I think the flag's going to go up. And it has. He looked offside with the naked eye, and of course this will go to VAR. But he, 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 looked, he looked a couple of yards offside in the early stages. Liverpool guilty of conceding possession. Needlessly forward it comes to Nunez, knocks it down into the path of Mo Salah. Salah's forward ball towards Zobers line with a chance! Oh, what a good save from the United goalkeeper, Andre Anana. Corner is going to be taken by Andy Robertson, this rock. Going to swing it in towards the near post. Or well, the edge of the six, he might decide to swing it out a little bit more, but maybe a bit deeper. In it comes towards the near post, headed down, a chance, what the Liverpool! Luis Diaz after the flick header on from Darwin Nunez from the corner from Andy Robertson. Liverpool take the lead at Old Trafford. And the reaction of Luis Diaz was absolutely instant. Just like a week ago against Brighton at Anfield. The same goal scoring predatory instincts to Liverpool. A power of good. They take the lead at Old Trafford. Diaz and Robertson combine again then. The Liverpool left back brings Virgil van Dijk into the equation. And a terrible ball from Kwanzaa. Might be a chance for Fernandez. Has equalised with an extraordinary goal. Kwanzaa played the ball inside the centre circle, inside the Liverpool half. It went straight to Bruno Fernandez. Fernandez spotted the Quivin Kelleher was out of his goal. He lofted it goalwards and it bounced into the back of the net. A mistake by Jarrell Kwanzaa of gigantic proportions. And United, after being almost pulverised possession and chance wise in the first half, 15 shots from Liverpool, none for United, are back on terms within five minutes of the second half. Fernandez to the edge of the penalty here for Dello. Garnaccio. Gives it away, was looking for Casemiro, found only Zobersly over halfway. He's got runners to his right, runners to his left. Here's Mo Salah through to Diaz, Diaz at the far post, Nunez. Oh my goodness, what was he doing? But it looks as like as though he was squaring it back across the face of goal and there was nobody there. Or was it just a dreadful shot? Whatever well. has happened, it's come back across the six-yard box. Liverpool win it back, then United get it back. Casemiro with an overhead kick for Kobe Maynard. Kobe Maynard driving forward, central area. Out towards Alejandro Garnacho, edge of the penalty. On his right foot, tucks it back out to the left to Juan Bissaka. Lovely turn. Oh, my goodness. Kobe Maynard with a right foot curler into the top corner. How extraordinary is football. A quite magnificent curling strike from Kobe Mainu and Manchester United are 2-1 in front in a match that they were never in in the first half of this game. A dreadful m mistake has got them drag kicking and streaming back into the match with Bruno Fernandes' goal, but a quite exquisite finish by Kobe Mainu with a lovely right foot shot, curled it into the top corner beyond Quivine Kelleher. Elliot with a lovely ball in towards Luis Diaz, gets ahead on it, United clear, but a driven shot, oh, good save there, oh, Mo Salah puts it over from in front, oh, just on the edge of the six-yard box after a lovely shot there from Luis Diaz, had been saved, diving to his left by Inanna, it broke for Salah, edge of the six-yard box, couldn't get it on target. What a chance. That really was a big chance for an equaliser. Might break for Salah edge of the penalty area. Chested down by Casemiro. Ball to the left-hand side for Fernandez. 
Good play by Quanta to get past him. He's away from Fernandez. Back here for Harvey Elliott. Into the path of Mo Salah. It's a penalty. That is a penalty. Harvey Elliott brought down by Aaron Wambasaka. And Liverpool have a penalty. Mo Salah to draw Liverpool level at Old Trafford. It's the familiar bending run. Scores for Liverpool. Sends Andre Adana the wrong way. Liverpool back on terms. He signals to the fans who were in jubilant mood after that equalising goal. 2-2 at Old Trafford. Here comes Kwanzaa for Liverpool. Nice ball for Harvey Elliott. Onto his left foot. That's a good cross towards the far post for Robertson. Heads it back across the face of goal. It's Jansel! Oh, over the top there. Went really well positioned from Luis Diaz. Total Sports. BBC Radio Merseyside. Radio Merseyside. And on your radio. The sound of Liverpool is BBC Radio Merseyside. At six, with the BBC News, I'm Mark Summers. The White House has described the partial withdrawal of Israeli forces from southern Gaza as a rest and refit, rather than a sign of a new military operation. Israel's military says it's reduced the number of troops on the ground there, but insists the war isn't over. A new round of ceasefire talks between Israel and Hamas is due to begin today in Cairo, but Hussam Zomlot, who's head of the Palestinian mission to the UK, says Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu isn't serious about peace. Netanyahu and the Israeli government want to push the Palestinians out of Gaza. The sheer level of destruction that has occurred in Gaza is unmatched. What happens in Cairo and elsewhere for Netanyahu is just distraction, gaslighting and sideshows. Meanwhile, there have been calls in the UK to stop selling weapons to Israel due to fears it could break international humanitarian law. The Deputy Prime Minister, Oliver Dowden, says the government's legal advice hasn't changed. Labour, though, has called on the Foreign Secretary, Lord Cameron, to appear before MPs in the House of Commons and answer questions on arms export licences. In other news, police investigating the fatal stabbing of a woman who was pushing her baby in a pram in Bradford City Centre yesterday have named a man they want to speak to in connection with the killing. Habibur Marsum, who's 25 and from Oldham, is wanted over the attack. He's said to also have links to Burnley and to Chester. Coast Guard rescue teams have been deployed several times along the Cornwall coast due to safety concerns caused by Storm Kathleen. One person had to be rescued from the sea at St Ives. The weathers led to huge waves and surges along seafronts, drawing storm watches. Jill Rylance is a senior watch officer for the Coast Guard in Falmouth. It's quite dramatic watching the sea crashing on the headland here, but please do it from a safe distance and don't put yourselves at risk in these conditions. The centenary of a World War I memorial and cenotaph in Ipswich in Suffolk is to be marked by displaying photos of people from the town who've died while serving their country. The War Memorial Project will include more than 900 pictures at Christchurch Park next month, where there will also be a short service to mark the occasion. The photos will include portraits of people who've died during both world wars, as well as some from the South African Boer War at the turn of the 20th century. And finally, Liverpool's Anfield Stadium is hosting people from across Merseyside this evening to mark the end of the day's fast during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. The event's been organised by the club together with the region's mosque network and the charity Islamic Relief. Tawid Islam is one of the organisers and says it's for everyone. It's about sharing in the culture. We're going to have various speakers there who are going to be sharing local stories, people of faith, people of no faith, just coming together in friendship, having a good time, having a bit of a laugh. That's the latest. You're up to date. It's just coming up to three minutes past six. Dutton on a Sunday. The sound of where we live. And all the music you love. Local BBC Radio. Yeah, good evening and welcome once again to Dotson on Sunday. It's an absolute pleasure to be here to bring you the sound of where you live. And you may not be aware of it. So we bring it to you over Sunday evening between 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock, bringing you some of the very best of BBC Local Radio. If you've missed great programmes during the week, have no fear. They will be here between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock of a Sunday evening. 